warriors throughout time were those who understood their purpose and trained relentlessly to master themselves. Warriors were fearless in living, knowing their gifts and developing them throughout their life. I've been inspired by these fearless legends, but for me, the battle, the fight, and the war is all internal. My journey has gotten very much off path. Bringing me back will require an all-out assault on my weaknesses. It requires I not react, but act. Taking action to defeat my fears and inner noise. Taking action to treat myself better. To reach the highest vision of myself. I've made the decision to master my spiritual, physical, and financial health. I've made the decision to become new. To become a no-excuse warrior. Couple restream issues there, so we're still gonna give it a shot. I was gonna, I was gonna cancel the show, but then again, I had like some pieces that I wanted to really do. Like, for instance, in the physical part, I wanted to do the weight thing, man, because like I really worked hard on that. And for those of you that tuned in last week, I don't know if those are the same that are gonna tune in this week. But uh, and let's go ahead and go to the chat room real quick, man. Let's go to the chat room so as people come in, they can say hi and and whatever. But last week we'd had. And feel free, we got the chat room. Whoop, chat room. <laughs> we got the chat room right here. Feel free to come in on that. Um, last week we had had uh, that's part of the physical thing. We 366. That's why I weighed in at. We had the healthy wage challenge. I don't know if a lot of those people are going to be back for today's show, but if they are, it's going to be exciting because we get to see the increase or decrease of what happened from that. We also have the uh, financial social experiment that went completely bad for us. But we're going to talk about how we rebounded for that. Let's see what they're saying today. Zach Johnson, morning. Good morning. I was good. Julie, it is always great to see you, lovely darling. It's good to see you. Um, you know, one thing that we started late anyway, um, we woke up to our news feed this morning and we had some uh, we had some bad news. We we And not just bad news for us, bad news for our community. Um, we lost a couple people. Uh, there was a... Uh, uh, there was a bartender from Frankie's Bar and Grill who, longtime bartender, like 30 years ago when the bar was bought, she came with the bar. Her name was Nancy. Um, she uh, passed away here re uh, just recently. And then uh, we lost another dear friend last night. All this is on my, uh, I woke up to that. And that's what's weird. You know, you scroll your Facebook feed in the morning and you're getting your coffee and you're shaking the cobwebs off and you don't think nothing of it really. But you know, it's one thing when you see one, uh, one loss that's happened and it's a completely other thing, you know, when you see more than one loss, um, I think that's, that that's pretty tough, you know, and, uh, to, to our friends out there that we're talking to, um, just want to say that, uh, when we're dealing with loss to start the show, um, people that we do lose, it's, it makes you ask a lot. It makes me ask a lot of questions. Um, I had a whole show planned. Uh, some of that will be still intact. It's probably going to be a shorter show today. Um, cause we really need to piece together what it is that's happening, but one thing I want to let everybody know is that as we're dealing with the losses of our friends today and as we've let, dealt with loss, you know, before is that there was a quote from Thomas Campbell that talked about to live in hearts we leave behind is not to die. And I've always liked that quote in that living in the hearts of people that have been left behind, we don't die. And that's those memories. And it's not the same thing. It's not the same thing at all as having that person there. But it does lead me to my first thing here. Um, what's that? Awesome. Was that the dog? Oh, sorry. The dogs are playing while we're doing the show. Understandable. Um, you know, what I try to do with the show is I try to do three things. I try to hit it, you know, spiritual, physical, financial. And so the beginning part's kind of like, you know, a little bit of the updates. Also going in to the chat room that we see right here to see how you guys are doing. And that we are going to be getting a studio line. 
so that we can actually take calls in and talk to some people like my student, like the old radio days that I used to do with Fox Sports. So that's one of the big things that is coming up. Also, we got new 719 Co merch, as you can see here. Uh, can you throw me a couple hats, man? Just toss me a couple hats over here. Let's see what we got here. Uh, we got this hat here. They're all different colors, man. We got the, uh, some of these are the mesh ones that people want. And I don't know why. I like fitted cap better. Is there another one over there? It's the same one. It's the same one? Okay. So there's this one, and then you got this one here. Different colors, you know, all that different stuff. Yeah. Even got the, uh, the white 719co shirts. And the reason, you know, 719co is in the spiritual part because a lot of people are like, you know, oh, you know, spiritually, he's always talking about Jesus. And, you know, yeah, I am a big fan of Jesus. I'm a big, big, big fan of the man upstairs. And I think uh, a lot of things in life go easier because of believing in the man upstairs. Um, but when I was talking about the spiritual, um, I knew that people were going to be excited about the physical part of the show, you know, like, uh, you know, workouts and things like that, losing weight. That's always popular. Financial part of the show, how are we growing money and, uh, and things like that, but I wanted to read to you the definition of spiritual, which is relating to or affecting the human spirit or soul as opposed to material or physical things. Relating to or affecting the human spirit or soul as opposed to material or physical things. I don't know if... I don't know who's watching right now, but for those that know me and know me well, I'm not into the material stuff. I don't give a shit about Rolexes. I don't give a stuff about red bottom shoes or trips to Dubai. I don't care, you know, what kind of car you're flashing. Uh, you know, if it makes you happy, then Mazel Tov, man. That's great. If it makes you happy, that's awesome. Um, Zinkras, love you, brother. Keep up the good work. So, ah, oh, it's my little brother, Zodian. Hi, Zodian. I'm working on that video, actually. We're going to have the video next week for next week's spiritual um, uh, segment of the show. So I put a video together of my brother. That's my little brother, Zodian. He's in Tennessee now. Some of you may know I took a trip from California to Tennessee to help him with a, uh, a move. Uh, I took one of the cars, but I got to be with my nieces and nephew or niece and nephews. Uh, and his lovely wife, Mayumi, he, I got to, I, be, I got to be the first one to see his house. Matter of fact, when he was in Sacramento, he was sad because I wasn't going to see where he lived in Sacramento. He wanted to share that with me. So last minute, literally the last week he lived there, I flew out to help them move and, uh, then take the car over. We did a whole road trip from Sacramento, California to tennis, to Memphis, Tennessee. And, uh, and, and so I got some video of that and it'll be a quick little, you know, nice video, um, uh, you know, about some of those adventures and stuff. Uh, Hey, Sheila, first time listener. Hey, welcome. Good to have you here, Sheila. Good to have you. Thank you for joining the No Excuse Warrior podcast. Um, you know, as I look at the Facebook feed today and I, and you know, you lose two friends, uh, you lose two people that were in the community. Let's, let's make it a little larger. These were two. This is this is 719 Co. And this one reason why we're wearing the shirts today is because we want to remind people that, first of all, we never forgot about this. This is what started us. 719 Co. Okay. 719, the area code. It basically says Colorado Springs, Colorado. That's what it's really saying. 719 Co. Peak inside. And we have two aspects of that. We have the local first. It's the hashtag local first that you see me doing. And you see hashtag community love. It's about small businesses and the people in this community. And today we lost two big presences in this community. And um, as I said to start the show, they never die because they're in our hearts. Those are where the memories are and those are where they're kept. But it leads me to ask another question that I was going to ask this morning instead of what I had prepared. So I'm shooting off the cuff here. This is completely improvised right now. And I don't know where I'm going with this, but I know that I'm going from my heart. Wes tells me that my heart is a pretty good place to start from because that's where the real shit is. And uh, so we'll give that a, a t love you. <laughs> my brother, love you, Nick, because we have this uh, Fred Claus thing because my mother loves my brother. Like, and, and I know my mother loves me, but she loves my brother like Nick. 
you know, uh, a Santa Claus from Fred Claus the movie. And I'm a lot like, uh, uh, what's that actor's name? I was going to say, Bing, not a, uh, what's it, Vince Vaughn. I'm a, I'm a lot like Fred from Vince Vaughn in the family. So that's why he says, love you, love you, Fred. And good stuff. Um, the thing that I wanted to touch upon today, and it's probably going to be a quicker show than it normally would be. We're not going to have any guests uh, today. Um, it's a somber feeling here, and I'm trying to my best to do like those pappy bubbles and happy face, but um, what do you do when you wake up in the morning and you see loss in your life? And what my question is for the first hour, maybe you want to chime in on the chat board. Again, we will soon have um, a, a phone line that you can call into, but what do you do with the loss that you feel? You know, what do you... When, when are we going to activate what is important about all of us? When are we going to activate um, talking about difficult topics, uh, dealing with people in difficult situations, dealing with ourselves in difficult situations? And that's, that's I've put this show together not knowing where it's going. I've committed to two years of this show. The first year of this show is me under a microscope, just me. And under that microscope, spiritual, physical, financial, seeing where all the research I've done to improve and maximize the spiritual, the physical, the financial. Later on, here, here a little later in the show, we're going to hit the scale. And we're going to see what I've done with the physical. We're going to, you know, the physical will talk about, over time, physical will talk about things like uh, nutrition and, and, and one of my storyline, the gastric sleeve. Uh, and we're going to get to that. Uh, some really important heavy hitting stuff. The financial, we're looking at, um, you know, the financial model you use to save money, to invest money, to build yourself up, to build your side hustle up. You know, a lot of crypto talk. You know, there's been a lot of crypto talk. That's the that's the name of the game lately, uh, the flavor. So in the spiritual, I like to talk about things from my heart. That's the, the three things, spiritual, physical, financial. So three things, I think, that's the only thing that matters in anybody. That's my take. To me, you got to be larger than yourself and you got to have something larger connected you got to have a dream that's larger than you you have to have an entity that's larger than you now the entity that i chose to be my passion project is no excuse warrior in 719 co i picked these two projects this is completely giving completely giving uh this is 100 percent. and when we push this merchandise this year a hundred percent of this goes to our community it's going to help uh, businesses, it's going to help local people that need help with, uh, you know, anything from bills to funeral costs, all kinds of things. The no excuse word thing is something that we're doing for your soul, for your, for your enjoyment to see somebody else rebuild themselves. And maybe through that, you can rebuild something about you. Um, and that's just speaking to the people that feel that there's something to improve on. You know, maybe, maybe you're one of those lucky people that got everything figured out. And I would love to have you on the show because I could use some education on that. <laughs> Vic Estrada says, good morning. That's awesome. Vic, Sheila, Wes, what are we looking at right now? Okay. So, wow, that's nice. We got 18 out of the bat. That's cool. Um, this, I love it, man. Hey, I'll take it any way I can get it. You know, we watched last week's numbers, and guess what we saw, Wes? Uh, as you remember, of the 28 people we had, the average total watch time was uh, – 53 minutes, 53 minutes. People were staying on and watching that first hour. And if you've been keeping us on in the bathroom while you're getting ready to work, that's great. Just keeping us on. Even if you're not listening to the whole show, you're making our YouTube numbers look great. So, Hey, if you're not using your phone while you're putting your makeup on or you blow drying your hair, just keep the show on. And if you're annoyed with my voice, just turn it down, but keep the show on. You're going to help us out. But, um, that's where I'm focused today is, is, why, what are we waiting for? Why, when is enough enough? You know, when are we going to, I don't know, it's almost like wake up. You know, what? what is that call to action? You know, how many, you see us all the time, you know, at funerals, you know, people are like, this is the time that we really need to look and this and that, and we need to be aware of this and that. And I'm like, why are we waiting for the funeral? Why does anything have to die for us to look inside ourselves? Why does anything have to be gone for us to search for something to have? Those are my questions where I sit there and say, I don't want to wait till any of you die. I don't want to wait till any of you are gone. 
so that that's when I start searching. I don't want to wait till I'm gone or facing being gone to go, oh, wish I changed my life, wish I'd been healthier, wish I had changed my finances, wish I was connected to some spiritual higher power. And that's a question that remains with me as we build this show up and then I'll be delving into and looking into because it fascinates me just the procrastination we have. And I don't know if that's the same way for you. You're my treadmill. You're my treadmill. Listen today. I, as you said correctly, brother, loss brings me back to God and reminds me that life is so temporary. That's why self-proclaiming Christians should not value this life more than what is to come. The life will soon be passed, but what is done for Christ will last. So, oh, brother, that's deep. Hey, Chris Russo. What's up, buddy? Good to see you, man. Love when my brother chimes in. Love it. I'm actually going to be having him on the show. Um, Sheila is, she's on the treadmill. She's on the treadmill listening right now. She's on the treadmill, man. And so I tell you what, in honor of Sheila being on the treadmill right now, she is walking. I tell you what, you know what? This is my show. I can do whatever I want with this show. This is my show. No excuse warrior. So you know what? Sheila's on the treadmill. And she tell you what, Wes, look up, look up something uh, from our music library, the Royal Library. Um, the Royal Library, <laughs> royalty free. I call it the Ro hey, white boys in the house. Hey, white boy. Yeah, that's one of my two wheel family right there, man. Uh, man, good to see you, buddy. Thanks for checking in, man. We're trying to make this as uplifting as we can. We suffered two losses in our community, and uh, we're going to try to honor them by finding ways to live now. And uh, and we are going to keep things in our hearts pumping so that we can all be here with each other. And that's what this show's about. I am trying to reach out, but in honor of, and I tell you what, in honor of Sheila, you got some like pump and fight music, like, like you know, something fighty like, because we gotta be careful with the music now because we don't want any copyright issues because we're actually trying to get the show off the ground. So the minute we hit a copyright issue, the problem is, is that we end up getting flagged and they go, this can't be monetized or anything, this, that, and the other. So 719 we don't make any money on. We got to we gotta do some things with No Excuse Warrior, and one of them is to get YouTube to put us on. So what do you got, man? Yeah, you got anything there? All right, let's do this. Did you put up the put up the video? I tell you what, I just right before this started, because I really wanted this cup of coffee right here. I wanted to drink this, so I went to my weigh-in. Now, some of you out there have been boxers and, weight, and, uh, and wrestlers and stuff, so, you know, I was a boxer. So, you know, when you weigh in, you're like spitting in a cup and doing everything you can to hit your weigh-in right. So I kind of did that this morning. So, uh, Wes, you got the video that you're uploading real quick. Okay. So right before you put that video up, Wes, make sure you put up our physical uh, intro. You know what I'm saying? Put that video. We're doing this for Sheila right now. Now, Julie says, I'm at work. Listen, uh, Sheila says, thanks, man. All right. So Sheila's in. And that's good. Sheila's in. Julie is at work listening. So Julie, by the way, you know what you're doing? Even just by having us on for the time that we're on. See, here's the thing, guys. I'm going out to go get it. I'm going out to go get it the way I want to go get it. Now, I'm still having to work hard. Matter of fact, next week, Wes and I leave for Norman, Oklahoma. And we'll tell you more about that in the financial segment. But we're leaving for Norman, Oklahoma to do some PDR, paintless dent repair. We're going to do some uh, help a buddy of ours build his business. Also... We're going to talk to you about, what's that? Yeah, make sure it has like a guitar of some sort that's riffing. Because Sheila's on a treadmill. We don't want to put her to sleep with Lawrence Welk music. Okay? It's got to have, just get like hard rock. Look for something hard. Like it's, it's, it's all in the words that you use too. Be like hard rock or physical or pumping or Sheila's kicking ass on the treadmill. Running on the treadmill. Sheila's running on the treadmill. She's making it happen. That's right. So we are so proud of her. Jamie Rhodes, you are in here. What is up? Thanks for joining. No excuse where we got. Yes, that's the one. We're going to get this. Uh, make this the background music right now. Can you make it the background music of this show or what? Yes. Put it up here. We're doing this for Sheila right now. We're doing this for Sheila. Come on, baby. You're on that treadmill right now. You're making yourself good. That's right. You're pumping that heart and you're pumping that blood. You're making it happen. I and I'm sitting here dancing to music you guys can't hear. So this part of it's really awkward. I look like I have like Tourette's or something. Now wait a minute. Why is this? Hold on a second. 
We need to get this fixed. Hey, can you fix the camera on this so they can see the the Gabby? Alright, well then take me back to the Ah, we have fixed that way. Alright. I'll just get over here. Oh. Ah. <laughs> That's right. Give us uh, if you haven't yet, give us a heart uh, on our YouTube if you're watching on YouTube. Even if you have even if you're watching live on Facebook, go to our YouTube. YouTube.com forward slash Oh, right through forward slash Pappy Swells P A P I S O R R E L S. That is the no excuse word on YouTube. If you go to our shows and hit the heart button, you're helping us. Would you like to help us? I mean, we're trying to do some good here, man. So all you got to do is hit a button. So you go over to the YouTube menu. You can even watch it on YouTube. That's awesome, too. You hit the heart there, hit the like, give a comment. Like, give a little piece of yourself to help us out. You know, just give a comment, like, Hey, good job, Pappy. You still look fat, Pappy. I don't care. But we're doing this for Sheila right now. Doing some Zach Johnson from Des Moines, Iowa. Here. Jamie Rose, we love you, baby. Doing some riding while listening. Have an hour with a heavy bag after the show. Woo! You remember that heavy bag we was hitting over there at the Prairie, Prairie View Fitness. Was that what it called, Wes? Prairie View Fitness? Prairie Life Fitness over there in Des Moines, Iowa. Zach Johnson saying hi from Des Moines, Iowa. So far, our furthest listener today. Is in Des Moines, Iowa. Dude, hey, this show's national already, baby. And if Maurice from Amsterdam comes checking in, ask your man worldwide again, two days in a row. Now, are you playing the music in the background of this show right now? Okay. So, all right. So, we don't know if we're going to show. All right. Well, hit, you got the video uploaded, ready to go? The video of me? Did you get the video? Come on, Wes. Wake up, buddy. Come on, buddy. No, I said video too. It's on. You know what's funny about this? I got it recorded that I said it. Now, the video that I sent of me on the scale, I sent you a video to your Facebook inbox. Let's go. We're on. I'm excited to get Sheila pumping. Are you still running, Sheila? You keep running, baby, because I made it about you right now. I can do whatever I want with the show. You know, that's a beautiful thing. But Sheila says, I'm on the treadmill, man, and I'm listening to your show, so I'm trying to keep it pumped up. There was some music in the background that we thought we had, but we didn't get it up on the show yet. We don't know. But we are going to get the video. And here's, let me give you some background while he gets the video up. Uh, because remember, you're going to go to the physical, remember? Physical lunch show and then the video. Right, Wes? Okay. So, last week, you can turn that music down. Is that, is that going on the show, you think? Yes. You think it is? It should be, yeah. Oh, Okay. Zuriad says, love some, oh, my brother went to the YouTube. He is so good. Jamie says, I hear the music, so do you have to turn it up for them to hear it or what? Well, how does that work, Wes? It should, it should have been here. So we don't have to hear it. They're hearing it right now? Well, They're, they were when, we, when, I, when it was going. Well, you got it going, right? It just said to, to, well, I said turn it down here in the office. Wes, come on, man. Uh, Let me see if they hear the music again. Now, if we hear it, they hear it, or can they hear it without us hearing it? They can, but it's, when we hear it, they're hearing it. Okay, so you know what? We'll keep the music going. If you guys, okay, over to YouTube. Oh, my gosh. Sheila went to YouTube. <laughs> Jamie's laughing. Listen, don't worry about Wes and I, by the way. We, we, we scrap like brothers during the show. Wes is a great man. I love Wes. I wouldn't be where I am without Wes. Because Wes makes all my dreams come true. But this is what you get to listen to the fi funny little brother banter back and forth. Ain't that right, Wes? Do you love me, Wes? Absolutely. All uh, right, you guys say it loud for the listeners. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Absolutely. Hey, there he is. <laughs> he loves me. Yay. He's my buddy. We can hear the music and your voice. Okay. Sheila is on the treadmill and went to YouTube. My brother went to YouTube. That's actually going to help our numbers. Huge. That's big. And it's a... Y'all crack... Laura Newman says y'all crack me up. <laughs> well, we better be cracking you up, man. That's all good stuff. Jamie says she loves us, guys. All right. So you got the preview coming, right? So you'll have... I'm not seeing it in my inbox. Okay. Well, let's see here. Let's see. God damn it. I hate this new phone. <laughs> I love it and I hate it. I have a love-hate relationship with this damn thing. There it is. Yes, it's in your box. 
Oh, that was dirty. <laughs> okay. The, uh, all right. Oh, Maurice from, ma, oh, there he is from Amsterdam is here. Yeah, baby. We got Sheila on the treadmill. We got people going to YouTube. And now, because Maurice showed up, we are officially worldwide. We are worldwide. We got somebody from Amsterdam. We're national because we got somebody from Des Moines. Is that the music ending or what? Start again? Uh, yeah, it's just on. All right. So here's what happened last week. Now, you getting ready with the stuff, Wes? You got to talk to me. Very close. So that the video is getting ready to go up. Okay. Yes. So here's what happened. Last week in the physical part of the show, I signed up for something called Healthy Wage. Now, let me see if I put it on this phone or the other phone because I'm in between two phones right now. I don't know if I did Healthy Wage here. Did I do Healthy Wage here or on the other phone? Where is the other phone? I don't know. Oh, here's the other phone. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. This is a professional top quality show, people. This is the stuff you tune in for. All right, Healthy Wage. Here we go. I'm going to load up the Healthy Wage. Also, someone I can share this live feed on your Facebook. Oh, Jamie Rhodes went to YouTube. So the odds on YouTube. Carol. Oh, okay. Hey, dude. Hey, dude, Carol's on. Wes, nice. we gotta go have dinner with her. Man, she can cook good. Don't miss a yes, please. Okay. Would like to say okay, yeah. Send me notifications. Here. All right. So here's what happened, and I'm gonna see if you guys can see this. Um, yeah, there we go. So right here, my current weight was 366, um, and then I have a weekly that I gotta lose. So they're expecting me this week to be at 363. Boy, do I got news for them. Okay. So we're getting ready to do a progress report for the first time. And you guys are going to watch. Now, here's the prize. I am paying $200 a month. $200 a month. And betting on myself. Okay. I'm betting on me. The big Bambino right here. Right? I'm taking $200 a month saying I can lose 130 pounds. Now. I got a lot to talk about with that. Okay. So it says zero pounds lost, 359 days. That's going to be bullshit because I'm about to show you. So I'm supposed to lose 100. Golly, man. It's like having Catherine Hepburn hold the phone. All right. <clears throat> if you're Gen X, that's hilarious. All right. Starting weight, 366. I am trying to lose 136 pounds by Cinco de Mayo of next year. That's right. So that's what happened. So now we're going to go to the physical portion of the show and then show you a quick video of me going to the scale. Now, before we start, Wes, before I tell you what, hit the physical portion. Cut the music real quick. Hit the physical start. And we're back. That's right. Just to show you that we have a couple of cute buttons and funny toys right there. We're back. Here's what I need from you right now. I was at 366 last week. Hit the music, Wes. I was at 366 last week. What weight do you think I am at today? We are getting ready to play it right now. What weight do you think I'm at today? Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? One, 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 one. <clears throat> I need everybody to go in on the chat right now and type in the weight that you think I'm at today. You got this, Pappy. Hope you're hopping off for a funeral. Oh, Laura, we're with you, honey. We're with you. Our condolences, man. There's a, there's a lot of funeral talk today, but I tell you, man, we're with you, Laura. Thank you so much for joining in. All right. Zach Johnson said, wow. Zach Johnson thinks I lost 16 pounds in one week. You know, Zach, I love you, but I mean, you might have overshot the moon there. I think you overshot the landing. My last weight last week was 366 pounds. 366. Now, right before the show, I got on the scale. Right before the show, I got on the scale. And you're going to see what the weight is. So Sheila says down five. 
down five pounds. So she, what Sheila's saying is I'm at three. My brother says I'm at 360. Sheila says I'm at 361. And I tell you what, here's what we're going to do. Zach Johnson is already getting a hat delivered to him. Zach Johnson won some 719 Co. gear last week. That is our community arm. That is our tithing arm. We do this for the community. 719 Co. right here. 719 Co. That is our community arm, part of our spiritual talk that we do to help local businesses and people. So here we go. I got a brand new, brand new 719 Co. hat. Price is right rules. Closest without going over. Closest without going over. Here is your challenge if you're watching in the chat room. We have me last week at 366 pounds. You are getting ready to see the video that started right before the, what did we get on? 720? 715, 720? 720, yeah. Right before we got on the show, we shot a video so that I could have some coffee. I only took a few sips of coffee, but I didn't want anything to mess up my weight. So, you just read my mind. I was thinking price is right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. My first drop was 15, so that's how I got the number. Okay, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. Okay, that's fair enough. Oh, large margins here. Hey, large margins. All right, Kathy Spencer is here from Denver, Colorado. All right, we are giving away a brand new 719 Co. hat. Lots of giveaways when you watch the No Excuse Warriors show. Lots of 719 Co. swag and coming soon, No Excuse Warriors swag. So we got also, we got the new hats, new clothes. What do you think about that? We also got the new shirts and the new hoodies. It's awesome. Okay. So I tell you what, let me grab a piece of paper and everybody one more time. We're going to do this one more time. Everybody's going to get another shot. And you know, God bless Zach Johnson. He thought I lost 200 pounds in one week. That's awesome, Zach. We appreciate you. Love you. Okay. Here we go. We got uh, Kathy Spencer. Kathy Spencer. And she's saying 361. Closest without going over. Closest without going over. We also said, uh, Zurian, can you see what the other ones were? Yes. What, is, what did Zurian say? What did Zurian say? 360. Zurian said 360. What did Zach say? Uh, Mark Hudson. What is up, dude? Mark Hudson says... 355. Zach said 350, right? I got a funny thing about that. What else do we have? Kathy said 361. Zanian said 360. Hudson said... Carol had already claimed 355. Oh, Carol and Hudson at 355. So if they end up tying, we got to come up with a tiebreaker. And if we end up having to do trivia or something, Carol's going to kick Hudson's ass. Jamie Rose said 355. Okay, 359. Rhodes says 359. What did Sheila say? Is she on the treadmill still? God bless that girl. She's going to be in shape. Uh, she's still running on the treadmill. Think about that. My brother and I have a joke. What the lady still climbing up the mountain? There was this lady we saw a long time ago. It seemed like forever she kept climbing up this mountain. So forever after that, for years, for decades after that, we said, what if the lady's still climbing up the mountain? And we, <laughs> Now we got Sheila that we could all say together. What if Sheila's still on the treadmill? And we can say that three weeks from now. Hey, welcome to No Excuse Warrior. It is now December 2021. What if Sheila is still on the treadmill? <laughs> I don't even know. Dude. So, Maurice is saying 356. So he's going like price is right. He's going a dollar over. Well, the real. Ah, you know what? If you thought everybody was going over price is right rules, you could do a dollar, you could do a pound. Okay, you can do that. So did everybody else get their guests? And we got Maurice from Amsterdam visiting us. He says 356. We got Jamie Rhodes, big supporter of Big Pappy in the Trash Can and all local music. She said 359. Uh, we got Carol, longtime friend. Her brother was a dear friend of mine. He passed away. and uh, But we've been connected spirits ever since. Carol says 355. Zach Johnson, a good, good, dear friend of ours from Des Moines, Iowa. Uh, he says 350. Hudson says 355 like Carol. My brother Zurian says 360. And Sheila just said, oh, my God. Ah. So I guess she's still on the treadmill while she said, oh, my God, and laughing. So here's my picture of Carol right Or no, here's my picture of Sheila right now, uh, Wes. She's on the treadmill going. <laughs> These guys, somebody. 
I don't know if she has a Russian accent. I don't think so. It's not at all. Um, Maurice says he has 356. Okay, good. My brother Zorian said 360. Spencer said 361. I'm going to give you 10 seconds if you watch it. What, how many? What are we up to in people right now? What's that? Wow, 30 people on right now. That is awesome, man. You guys are rocking out. All right, here we go. I'm going to do 10 seconds, and then we're going to run the video. All right, Wes? You ready to pop that video? Okay. And you're going to have to kill the music then when you do it. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hit the physical update and then do the video. Here comes what really happened on the skin. Do that music light if you can. Okay. Hey, brother, quick tutorial that you may not find or may be hard to find. You're wondering how I got my customized uh, calendar right there. So when I open, boom, Wait, I got my calendar. Uh, basically, go on any of your other screens where you don't have any widgets up and hold oh, it. Oh, shit. It'll bring up your widget. You click that the widget. That is not the video. And then whatever you're looking for, if it's calendar. What the hell came back to me? Wait a minute. What did you get? No, it's not the latest thing, Sid. Well, it's right here. Yeah, there was one that looked. Wes, you're killing me. I had no. I was looking at it with you. Thanks for the promotion, brother. Oh, wait. Candy Kirk's in here. Candy, then, oh, my sister Candy, yeah. Candy says 3.59. So if you're just tuning in, this is the closest without going over. This week, we are sending out this hat. So if you are the winner, we need your address. We need your address. So go to West BKCOs. You know, well, actually, let's have them go to our, uh, yeah. I tell you what, here's what you got to do if you want to claim your prize. Here's what you got to do. In the comment, well, no, I don't want people to see it. I don't want people to see it, and then they're harassing you. Okay, I got it. So the No Excuse Warrior Facebook, if you haven't liked it yet, like that Facebook. Like that Facebook, okay? So, you know, get on that one. That's the No Excuse Warrior Facebook. And then in the inbox message, if you win, give us your address. Give us your address if you win, and we are going to mail this beautiful hat to you, to whoever won. And Katie said, that's going to look on me whoop, whoop. oh see <laughs> okay you got the other video ready to go man just okay so the video is about ready to go we got just a little more time we ended up with a little more time we got candy saying 359 now here's the thing if you just tuning in last week i made a healthy wage i put 200 dollars a month over a year 200 dollars a month that means that means i can get back if i win this if i win against myself not against anybody else if I win against myself, this is what I get. $4,141. That's right. I got to lose 136 pounds by Cinco de Mayo of next year. So today is the first day that we're going to type that in. Now, my weight when I do this is going to be a little different than, than, than what I show you right now. Only because I've had a few sips of coffee. So maybe I can piss that out or something. I don't know. But uh, Spencer said 361. I was 366 last week. What do I weigh? This week, how much did I lose? Did I lose? Did I gain? Oh, so last week, 366. Spencer says 361. Kathy Spencer from Denver. Zodian, my brother in Tennessee, like my real live brother, not street brother. But my brother from Tennessee says 360. Hudson, I don't know where he lives in Colorado Springs, but uh, or where he's at, but he's at 355. Zach from Des Moines, Iowa says 350. Carol here in Colorado Springs says 355. Jamie Rhodes says 359. Maurice from Amsterdam, 356. And Candy here in Colorado Springs, uh, Fountain, Colorado, 359. All right. Lori from Biker Down Listening and fellow crypto holder. Oh, we're going into finances next, Lori. Stay tuned. Okay, here we go. We got um, play the physical and then go to the video. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to find out. I lost, if I lost, or if I gained. Play the physical tape. All right, we're trying this game. Can they hear me? All right, let's see what's up. Here we go.
Whoa. <laughs> we are the champions, my friend. <laughs> Ten pounds, love it. So the correct answer was 356. That means we have a tie. I so by the way, play some big old music for me or something, man. You got any like play some, I don't know, the only song you got's that one. But like let's play that one. Play that music, man. So let's talk about this for a second. Can you do like a flashy like 366 to 356? Can you make that real quick and just make it flash over the screen? Nothing crazy, just basic writing. All right. 366 to 356. If you smell -la 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 what the pappy's cooking. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I lost 10 pounds this week. 10 pounds. Let me look at this uh, real quick. I want to see. Uh, so, because it showed better on my phone. There's my nasty foot right there. I got a close up of my grotesque little foot right there. This is a big old foot stamp. But let's uh, let's take a look right here. Let's see if it shows it right here. Good lord, it's nothing. But, oh, there it is. Three fifty six, like a ghost. Woo! Woo! Three fifty six. That's right. Ten pounds, sucker. Horns down, because Texas sucks. Anyway, uh, so we got a tie between Mark Hudson and Carol. Carol and Mark have a tie. Candy says, good job, buddy. Jamie says, good job. Kathy says, good job. Sheila typed something that I can't see from here. What are those things? She typed some emoji type stuff. What is that? They look like flowers or something. Or motorcycles. <laughs> Are those motorcycles or flowers? What the hell did she type? They look like bras with tassels. They look like bras with tassels on them. What the, what's going on here? Did she just throw a bra at me? That's awesome. No, wait, what's happening here? What's that? Okay, Carol's still on. Is Mark Hudson still on? Is Mark Hudson still on? Ooh, maybe we do the tiebreaker like that. Who stayed on? Mark Hudson, are you still on? Is Mark Hudson, congrats, brother, getting excited for my weigh-in on Friday. Celebration stuff, ha, 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 or bras with the... <laughs> Sheila's having a good time laughing. Here's my question. Is Sheila still running on the treadmill? Is she typing all this like, oh, 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 those were the guesses that we had. And Mark Hudson. Jamie says it's celebrating emojis. Okay. Celebrating emojis. That's good stuff. So Carol wins the hat. Carol wins that. Zach Johnson of Des Moines, Iowa. You have a hat coming. And, and Carol, we know where you live because you're a dear friend of ours. We're going to deliver this in person. What do you think about that? How about we deliver this in person? I'll bring you a hat and you make something healthy. Yeah. Celebrate. <laughs> All right. Let's kill the music. Kill the music. Wow. Wow. Are you guys excited as I am? Are you as excited as I am? So, Carol, congratulations. You win a 719 Co. hat from this week's No Excuse episode, uh, No Excuse Warrior uh podcast episode number two episode number two so we're gonna keep that going every week we're giving away something every single week so you want to tune in and also tell your friends about this podcast let's grow this thing i'm trying to grow it first with my local ecosystem okay that's you guys in colorado springs that's the people that knew me that i toured around the country and parts of the world with i need you guys' help share it with your friends let them know and carol says just say when look at that Play the music again. I'm so confused. Make it bigger. Put it all over my face. Yeah, put it. Put it on my. There you go. Bring it down. Bring that 366 to 356 down. Make it bigger. Ah, ah, ah. 
Ah! Yeah! Ha! Pop, 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 pop! Yeah! That's right! 366 to 356! Come get some! Yeah! 10 pounds in your face, Jillian Michaels! Actually, she's probably rooting for me. So, that was rude. Alright, Bob Harper. Alright. Sheila said, of course, I'll add you to my wait list. <laughs> Sheila, you are a blessing. You are a blessing. Congrats. Still running? I think, yeah, is she still running? That's the question. Sheila, maybe that's what she says, uh, of course. I don't know. The uh, Yeah, cut the music, man. And uh, Carol, congratulations. You get the, the, the hat right here. We are doing a giveaway every week. We have 719 Co merchandise coming out from our wonderful, wonderful company uh, that we partner with, and it's a local first love, Inc. 182. If you guys need any embroidery, look at the quality of this stuff, man. This is quality. This is embroidery, folks. You're wondering who can do good embroidery? Look at that stitching right there. You tell me. Is that good or what? That is 719 Co right there. I tell you what, 719 Co right there. And that is not easy. Look at that. That is several different colors. Look at the quality of that stitching. Uh, look at the quality. And then this is the, uh, the, uh, uh, the, and, and, and listen, I did this because people requested this. So if you're not into this, we have fitted caps too. We have fitted caps as well. But some people like this mesh thing. It's like, I don't know. The kids love it. I don't know. And everything's different. Maybe that hat's on fleek. I don't even know if fleek's cool anymore. But at any rate, 719 Co merchandise. Don't forget this. All the merchandise that we sell for 719Co goes into the 719Co fund for the city. All the merchandise. All the merchandise that we sell. Okay? And uh, we, Wes and I have worked really hard to get back on top. Speaking of getting back on top, let's hit the financial segment. Time to hit the financial segment. Oh, yeah. Hit the financial. All right, so what happened? Listen, and, and you know, let's let's make sure we bop around between different camera angles, Wes. I'm gonna say it loud now so they see the rawness of the show. But we've put a lot of work into different you see this one. This one right here. Now see, that's our YouTube right there. So we're gonna have that lit up. It's called our Gabby. And uh, we call it the Gabby because we bought this off Facebook Marketplace and it said Gabby's room. We bought it from a family that was getting rid of this. And we gotta fix the uh connector. Actually, it says 20 yards. See, this is why, you know, it's just, you guys probably think we're trying to buy 20 yards. Okay. That's, oh, wait. And the 20 is wrong. Hold on. To our YouTube. Now, we do, we're not trying to buy a yurt. But the YT is for YouTube. If you're not hip to that, Jack. Okay. So, this says, give a heart, subscribe to our YouTube. We hope that you... We're trying to buy 20 years for the homeless. With every merchandise you buy, it goes toward a year that we're going to put down the middle of Colorado Springs. Come get a year. Go longer. Okay. Oh, man. But yeah. Subscribe. And if you miss the show or if anybody says that they missed the show, feel free to get on the Facebook and type, say, hey, you can watch it on Pappy's YouTube. Heart. You know, heart stuff. Like stuff. You know, the, use the hearts, by the way. Use the hearts. Don't use likes. Not just on my stuff, but anybody else's stuff. Hearts send the algorithm. If you like supporting bands, heart their stuff don't like it heart it it sends a further algorithm because if facebook goes oh they're hearting it not liking it that's why they put those different emojis there because they're trying to use a system that says oh this means more to people than normal so use hearts when you're on facebook use hearts we're going to go into the financial portion of the show boy is it a doozy okay <clears throat> uh but yeah that's our youtube and leave comments that's one place that you can you know even if you were watching on Facebook, go back over to the YouTube, and the more comments you leave on a show, even if you leave an LOL or like good show, that's gonna help us out. All right, we got all. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, here it is, Mister Big Stuff. 
Who do you think you are, Mr. Big Stuff? You're never gonna get too far. <laughs> there we go. And I'm looking up at the studio thing. We got a. There's so much more coming. And just like my piano, I'm putting some local things here. We got King Chef Diner. Got Evident PDR, Pikes Peak Motorcycle, my brother's Navy stuff. That we put up there because it's Sun Records. Man, I'm doing good with this pointer thing. That's Lobster Bob's Crab Shack thing there. This is a, this Rocky Ross right here. That's a friend of ours, Dano, that uh, passed away that uh, we love dearly. That's my support of the uh, uh, Devil Dogs right there. You can tell I'm a Star Wars fan. Oh, here we go. <laughs> you can tell I'm a Star Wars fan. Some of you that know me a long time know way there. <laughs> That's the uh, Big Ivory Ticklers. That's the first group that I had that I started with dueling pianos. Obviously, you know, I'm an OU fan. And uh, as I always say, trust your story. Let's go to the financial. Let's go back into the chat room right now. Let's go back into the chat room and we will take a look. Um, James, congrats, old friend. Thank you. Thank you very much, Carol. Jamie's loving the hearts. She's giving us hearts right now. hundred of them. That's good. She put a hundred hearts and then like a half dozen, but that's good. I like that. All right. Today on the financial thing, we're going to talk about a, a, an experiment that went horrible. And if we had the sound effects, and you know what? I tell you what, after today's show, I'm going to sit with Wes. And we're going to go through sound effects and pumping music. And we're going to make this so much more entertaining every single week. But you know what? We we put it out every week because we're, like, dedicated to making this work. So, you know, what? we're not going to wait till it's perfect. We're going to do it raw in front of you. So, for you folks that are watching the show now, at least you get to say, dude, I remember watching that show when it was a train wreck. I mean, it was a train wreck. And then later, a year later, you guys are going to be like, oh, it's so pretty and so fluid now. And you're going to miss the days that it was a train wreck. But we recently did a cryptosode. And we're just trying to, you know, we wanted to call it something cool. But we did a cryptosode. And what we had is a thing called, uh, they call it Dogecoin. Okay, D-O-G-E-C-O-I-N. Okay, Wes, go ahead and type that up. Do a hashtag Dogecoin and put it up above my head like you did the 366 to 356. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get the spelling for you up here. And it's a cryptocurrency. Now, currently, our crypto is doing just fine. Uh, we had to make a pivot move. But here, here's what happened. We were at the studio working on things, and all of a sudden, Dogecoin was going from $0.49. Cents to, and I'm sitting there working on stuff, and I look to the left, and it was $0.50, cents, $0.55, cents, $0.60, cents, $0.61, cents, $0.62. Cents. And I look at Wes and I go, dude, something's happened with Dogecoin. And what I thought was, because Elon Musk, he he's one of the guys behind Dogecoin, him and Mark Cuban, the owner of the Dallas Mavericks. They were going to, uh, Elon Musk was going to be on Saturday Night Live that Saturday. So I busted my butt and I'm like, dude, I'll bet you when this thing hits Saturday Night Live that the Dogecoin's going to go through the roof. It's going to be great. Now, this is part of the cryptocurrency. Now, Wes is going to get the name of it up above me real quick. Dogecoin? Yeah, Dogecoin. Do the hashtag Dogecoin because then that's how they like, you know, it's that. But then like sneak it down here. Sneak it down here. There you go. And that's what it's spelled like right here. <clears throat> it's spelled like this right here. He's going to drag it down here in just a second. As long as the show still has your great humor. <laughs> Jamie says as long as it has our humor. I love it, Jamie. So here we go. We got Dogecoin. Now, this is the coin that's had a lot of people talking. And when this thing first came out, it was pennies on the dollar. It was, you know, one cent, two cent, four cent, whatever. That's not the point. Is that then Elon Musk got behind it saying, hey, this is, we found out he created it. There was a part in creating it. Oh. It skyrockets. And a lot of us that have been watching this crypto thing, we made money on this. We made some seriously good money. So, first of all, when I talk about what we did here, even though it was an epic failure, and then we rebounded, and I'll tell you about that and how you can rebound possibly. We went in and said, okay, we're going to take the profits of the stuff that we're doing in crypto. And here's what's happening right now. Now, we took our profits out. We took $1,800 out. And, you know, you can see the line of our crypto, by the way. Here's the week. Okay, let me see. Here's the month. 
wait the week the day okay so like for instance today so here's today's look at the crypto that we have going right now now as you can see oh, jesus it's like so you can see the <laughs> here we go here we go there we go so you can see the line on the crypto right now that we got going up cryptocurrency is what we've been utilizing okay and just in the last hour even <clears throat> and this is what you see you see dips and then you see major rises but the, as long as the dips are smaller than the rises you're okay you don't want long dips and small rises <clears throat> nobody wants anything small okay so here we go right here we got this so you see the little dip this is in the last hour but then you see it correct itself and so within even though we took 1800 out we, we what is it we took out we took out about 1820 bucks or something like that it was like 1800 bucks so we had we had bought into dogecoin pretty big and then it went down pretty bigger <laughs> it went it was bad it went down like john denver in a glider all right get in on shiba okay I'm glad you brought that up, Joseph. I will talk about that. Here is our thing. What I'm going to tell you, and by the way, hi, Joe. <laughs> One of my good friends there, man. You missed some good stuff. You're going to have to watch earlier. You did, And if anybody missed it, welcome new in here into the live show. But if you missed anything, go to our YouTube. Go to YouTube. As a matter of fact, when you get back from your union break, Wes, type up YouTube.com forward slash Pappy Sorellis and get that big on the screen so I can show people that. West. I always got to take a coffee break. Speaking of which, everybody drink your coffee. Delicious. All right. And I want to talk about this with crypto. Real quick with the Dogecoin, we put in about for 4,000. Was it 4,000 coins, Wes? Or did we put in $4,000? No, 4,000 coins. Okay, I took a bigger loss than Wes. <laughs> I took a bigger bath. Um, absolutely, Joseph. We had, dude, thank you so much for coming in, Joe. We appreciate it. Um, so I bought 4,000 coins, and immediately this thing was sitting at like 71, 72 cents. You know, Wes was looking at me one, at one point. I said, hey, let's really jump on this and use it as an experiment. And Wes did say, man, I don't know if we can trust something that, you know, its highest hit was ever 70, 71 cents. <clears throat> And I told Wes, I said, yeah, but the, from the time you just said that, this thing went from 69 cents to 72 cents. So I thought we'd put in the money and that this thing would, boom! I thought Elon Musk gets on Saturday Night Live. I thought everybody in the nation's going to be watching Saturday Night Live. And then, boom! <clears throat> and I wasn't the only one. As a matter of fact, I think I got video somewhere here. And I'll, and I'll, and I'll show it. I'm going to make a video of this. And these are... Part of the fun videos <clears throat> that that we we're doing and let me see if i can find you know where it was that we had um <clears throat> but it was you know everybody was just like yeah it's gonna be great you know and, and we all thought it man a lot of us thought it now people on the sidelines may be saying oh i knew it wasn't gonna be good shut up shut up you knew nothing so as you see here here is the point that i'm saying this is what happened on the news after we invested dogecoin prices tumble dogecoin plunges nearly 30 percent dogecoin dies torrid it's bad it's horrible uh several times you sell half your profits and then rebuy back you know this okay so and by the way Lori's right we're getting all this you guys are getting ahead of us but that's good I like that you're in the chat room. I like that you're doing it. Thank you, Lori, for saying that. And Joseph, thank you for your thing. Um, okay, wait. Somebody's replying to Lori. So she, she replied to herself. She replied to herself. Okay. Okay, Lori is talking to herself while <laughs> Sheila is on a treadmill, and I'm right here. Okay, so, no, Lori, we don't mean any harm. We don't, we're just having fun. Uh, Jimmy Rose says, cheers. Okay. So here's the thing, <clears throat> Dogecoin fell pretty hard. Now, the one thing I did for me, for me was, I have been uh, sometimes using a little scapegoat to get me back what I need in something that I believe strong. Here, let's let's break down how we do the crypto. 
what we did. Now, when we first started, yeah, we, we, we investigate a lot. We even put in for a lot. We had Uniswap, you know, Sushi Roll, you know, Polka Dot, you know, uh, Nano, uh, Marker, you know, Soul. You know, we a lot of them. And, you know, we made money. We really did. We made profits on a lot of them. But then, you know, we saw like, okay, wait a minute. We're spreading too thin. Here is our philosophy. Now, we use a coin wallet. This is where you got to buy your stuff. We have two coin wallets. I'm going to explain them both because one has to do with 719 Co. We use Coinbase. <clears throat> extremely popular. And then we use uh, Uphold, which is out of the UK. And we have been thoroughly, thoroughly impressed with Uphold. Okay. And by the way, if you want to catch the show, uh, if you missed it, if you just tuned in and you didn't see another part of the show, youtube.com forward slash Pappy Sorellis. If you haven't subscribed, please do. That's what this is. We're trying to buy 20 yurts. Kidding. Uh, give us a subscribe. Uh, give us a heart. Subscribe to that YouTube. Now, what I did was I took the money from Doge, uh, the, the the other money, because I lost about nah, 100, 200 bucks because it, it hit it slow. And that's fine. It's fine. I'm not worried about that. So anybody watching, don't type in for me telling me you don't have to worry, uh, but you can for others <laughs> because we not, we're not worried. We know how this works long term. And that brings up a point that you got to think about with this stuff. So here's the thing. We use Uphold. And one thing nice about Uphold is when we pulled the money, one time we pulled only like 50 bucks and it got here in two days. They say five to seven business days. We pulled 1,800 bucks and it was a profit. And uh, each of us pulled 1,800 bucks because we each have our own account. We just work it together. But uh, we each pulled 1,800 bucks. It got here the next day. The next day it was in our bank account. So... Speaking of crypto wallets, before I go further, here's a couple that I am not about at all. Um, I do not like Kraken. Kraken, you'll see out there. I think Kraken is extremely annoying, extremely difficult. <clears throat> I think it's much easier on Uphold, much easier on Coinbase. Uh, let's go back to one I like, Coinbase. I'll tell you one reason I like Coinbase. Coinbase is a great wallet to have for educational purposes. They have videos on there that'll show you a lot about crypto. So if you don't know anything about crypto and you want a little help along the way, Coinbase is fantastic for that. Um, also, um, and be careful before you put the ones up that you love because I may, I may, I'm gonna come crashing down on, uh, on crypto.com and some of these other ones. So be careful because I, I may be smashing the one that you say. And if you got Robinhood, do not even type that. I'll get to that in a minute. Don't even type Robinhood because they suck balls. All right. Um, <clears throat> but the Coinbase, the nice thing about that, they have videos. And then each one, like say you like Nano or say Mark, Marker or say Ethereum or, or whatever, Bitcoin. They'll give you a snapshot to tell you about the, they'll tell you about the currency, the cryptocurrency. Then they'll go on to tell you like the market share and how many coin they have. A lot of information. I like Coinbase for that. What we use Coinbase for, we use Coinbase as our tithing or donation to the community sector. And for us, it's obvious what that is, 719 Co. So we put we put money, we put, and we do it like church. We do 10% of our money and we put it into the Bitcoin because Bitcoin is a fantastic insurance policy. Bitcoin is the standard it's the daddy of them all. I know people are on the Ethereum thing, and Ethereum is awesome. It's going to be great. But right now, as it stands today, Bitcoin is a solid, solid insurance policy. Matter of fact, we don't even use a savings account anymore. We hold our money in Bitcoin. That's where we're at, and it's been great for us. It, it, it's You're going to gain a lot more interest in that than you are when it's singing a lullaby to itself inside that empty, cold safe. You know, and the bank's going to be using your money anyway. They're going to use your money to make more money so that when you go in and ask for a loan, they can deny you because they made money off you. It's just horrible. Bitcoin's a great insurance policy. Now, what we had going on is we we simplified it down. Oh, by the way, finishing out. Uh, Kraken, no likey. Now, there is one called uh, Binance, Binance.us, and you're going to have to do the U.S. version because if you try to do the other one, it's it's a, it's a worldwide one, and they're going to have to you verify your address. If you do Binance.us, I'm going to tell you right now, be prepared to be on hold for a while 
Like it's going to take you about two weeks to get verified. I mean, they're really serious. But uh, Binance is actually a good crypto that we're looking at. Um, it's been a pain in the ass, so we haven't gotten it yet. But it's it's been, if you can get it and you get on there, it's showing a good, go ahead and look at the Binance where it's at today. Because last week it was at 650. See, see where it's at today, Wes. Binance? Huh? Oh, you know, okay. Let me see. Well, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, and now Lori's right. Lori's right. The, the, the fees on Coinbase, that's why, that's why we don't like it for the overall trading. Lori, that you're seeing right here, uh, right here. <laughs> Lori, that you're seeing right here, she's right. She's right on the money. Absolutely correct. Uh, that's why we don't like Coinbase for our overall stuff. But uh, if you did like us, for instance, we're encouraging people like, hey, if you got a Bitcoin on Coinbase and you want to learn everything you wanted, and then if you wanted to put, um, you know, money aside and, and, you know, use Bitcoin exchanges to help 719Co and uh, that you can be helping the business of the company, you can do that. That's what we're doing. We have only a Bitcoin in Coinbase, and then we're going to build it up over the year. We're building it up right now as we speak building it up over the year. And at the end of the year, right around November, uh, we're going to do uh, the first of December. Actually, we're going to take what's ever in there and we're going to give it out. And so we put 10% of all of our business dealings. That means our profit on crypto. That means <clears throat> the stuff we're going to be doing. Uh, we got some side business deals that we're doing and any of the profits from that, we, we put 10% of our profits into that Bitcoin for it to grow. And then I'll be going out. You'll be seeing this on Facebook. I'll be going out encouraging others to donate or to buy merchandise, these 719 Co type merchandise, stuff like this, stuff like this. You know, that type of merchandise will go in and uh, go to that fund and we'll put it all in that Bitcoin so it can rise up into the year. We'll give it away. Lori's right. Coinbase is not good to have all your stuff in. I don't like it for that, uh, but it's a great learning tool. Uphold, that thing is the bomb. I mean, the, <clears throat> and we're going to put a list together, by the way, for everybody of what the fees are for a lot of these ones. Cause a lot of people are like what? So watch us for memes that, yeah, what's up? Yeah. Binance is at uh six sixty two right now. Okay. So Binance has gone up 16 bucks. Okay. So from last week to this week, Binance has gone up 16 bucks. That's a good one. Here's what we've done. Here's what we've done. This is Wes and I, and I don't know how big I need to say it. We are not financial advisors. But we are riverboat gamblers and hustlers, and we go after it. What we're doing is different than what a lot of people are doing. Joseph brought up earlier, morning, everyone. May God bless your day with light and peace. Don't be mad about things. Be grateful to be breathing and have an opportunity to change to better your life every day. Ah, oh, that is odd, JC. Oh, by the way, JC, your hoodie's ready. Was this JC's hoodie? No, that's yours. Oh, this is mine. Whew. JC's is in the box. Can you grab it for me real quick? I'm going to show JC that I'm not wearing his. So he doesn't have pappy juices on his stuff. Here we go. Or sweat. I don't juice sounds bad. Yeah, you can tell it's JC's because I can tear this apart. This JC. Look what we got. We got your white hoodie, buddy. And JC is on. Oh, he loves it. Look at that, JC. It is yours. Ole, 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 ole. Here we go, Wes. Let's take care of this like he does our bikes and cars. Now, JC, that's JC Mobile Wash and Detail. That is another 719 Co. local first company. Do you want your car detailed, your airplane detailed, your motorcycle detailed, your boat detailed? That dude right there, JC, JC right there, that is the dude you call. JC Mobile and Auto Wash Detail. Um, I can't even begin to tell you how clean he does stuff because I, I walked in on him one time. He had some weird CSI-looking steam thing going like he was just clearing out all the fingerprints that were in the back seat. So if you've recently killed an ex and you want to clean up your car, JC's the guy to call. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. He just doesn't do murder scenes. He does more than that. But uh, uh, JC, I'll be around this afternoon. Sweet. I need a detail on my bike, bro. I need a detail on the bike. Uh, let's get you guys rocks. Come by the house, by the way. We need to talk about microgreens. Holy crap, this show is bipolar. Let's get back to the financial thing. Matter of fact, play the financial thing one more time. Play the financial thing so we can get back to it. Here we go.
Okay. We're back to the financial talk. Look, I, I see people on, on chatting in. I got to say hi to them. I got to, I, I love it. And I appreciate the time they took. What are we at on people right now? What are we at? Okay. So at any rate, let's get to the cryptocurrency. What we do that's a little different, and I'll show you, we simplified it. And I'll tell you why we simplified it. For us, there's a lot of, let's let's talk about what Joe talked about. You know, go to Shiba, Shira, you know, all this. Go to Safe Moon, this and that. Listen, yes, you can chase a tiger by the tail. You can chase a tiger by the tail. That's fine. And you know what? Some of you are going to make some great, great money. Some of you that are chasing Safe Moon, some of you that are chasing Shiba and all this other stuff, I don't doubt that you're going to make some great money. What we're doing here, at No Excuse Warrior is ours is not as much about the catching a tiger by the tail or the get rich quick. And, and I don't mean any insult to anybody. I'm not trying to say you're just a get rich quick person. But you got to understand what Wes and I are doing, and we want this clear to our audience. We are literally creating a financial holding that is more long term. Now, are we going to have some fun with the volatility? Sure. Sure. It's almost like a side hobby. It's nothing we're taking too serious at all. But let me, I'll explain what we do here. And let me pull up our uphold. Um, I'll pull up uphold. What we do is we have two currencies. Well, <clears throat> I'm sorry. There are five currencies that we are currently currencying. Okay. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'll be in and out working. Okay. No problem, Carol. Thank you for checking in, darling. Okay, so number one is Bitcoin. Bitcoin is one of the ones that we're in, and it is the insurance and policy. It's the granddaddy of them all. It's the one that started this whole decentralized movement. If you haven't caught up on crypto, crypto comes from the Calvinistic era, um, the 1400s, and uh, the word crypto comes from hiding or in secret. And so the idea is that our secret is, uh, our secret is that we're hiding money from the government. Okay, and trust me, Read the news. The government's pissed. They've been trying to come after XRP, uh, which we're going to talk about in a second. But what we do is we kept it really simple. So here's what we do. Uh, number one, and type these as I'm talking and uh, get, and just keep the YouTube.com. Pappy Sorellis, uh, keep that. Uh, I can get it today. Okay, cool. Um, I don't know what. Can you save that or is it just going to be gone when you type it away? Uh, I'm going to copy it. Okay. Okay. Copy that. And then I need you to do one, two, three, four, five, okay? Wes, you're going to do left. number one. To the left of you and on, on the screen. Um, yeah, can you give me a screen that's not the chat room but gives yes. me the, yeah. The points. Yes. Yeah, when you get it ready to transfer, you can do that or whatever you want to do. Yes. Okay, there's five currencies <clears throat> that we use. Number one, Bitcoin. Granddaddy of them all. The best insurance on your money. We treat our crypto like our savings account why put your money in a bank and let it just sit there that's why we got into it we are not financial advisors we're just you're watching our process in the first year to develop our money you're watching our spiritual growth or our points of view or what we stand for you're watching our physical improvement well it's i'm the lab rat you're watching my physical improvement. You're watching my financial improvement coming back from absolute ruin during COVID. After Bitcoin, we have Ethereum. That's the next one that we have. Ethereum is absolutely rock solid, just doing awesome. We started it, you know, and there's going to be people that have better stories than us, and we get that. And please share them. Please share them. I want to be happy for you. I love that you people are winning. So for us... And when we started this experiment a few weeks ago, we started at 2,500 a coin. Well, we got one coin in it, and that coin now is, as of today, um, I think Ethereum itself is worth uh, 4,364, but because of our growth in it, we have uh, 4,824. So we put in $2,500 and got back 4,824. We have not touched it. Now, uh, the next one that we got, we'll go through these real quick. This one isn't necessarily a cryptocurrency, but this is a solid, rock solid. It may not shoot up all the time, all the time, but it shoots up. It never, to this day, has never, ever gone down below 2,900 in value. 
And what happens with a lot of these is when they get close, here's a little tip. When they get close to a certain number, like get close to 3,000 or get close to 2,000 or get close to 100 or get close, you know, for some reason in the market, which a lot of people have a theory, we haven't we haven't found it out yet, but it's you see that it has a hard time. It has a hard time getting over that hump. You'll notice that. So we it's called palladium. Palladium is under XPD in the Uphold, uh, in the Uphold app, and the Uphold has like a green app with a uh, with a white swirly marks, and we'll we'll pull that up later. But uh, Bitcoin, palladium, yeah, and, and show that X. It's uh, yeah XPD, and. Uh, <clears throat> Now that was number three, by the way. That was number three. Yeah. What was number two? Uh, Ethereum. Yeah, Ethereum ETH. So number one is Bitcoin. Number two is Ethereum. You will find that as ETH. And go ahead for the new people, Wes. Put BTC by Bitcoin so they understand what that is. Put BTC by Bitcoin. Yeah, I forgot you had your new because I was like, I'm not gonna do the abbreviations for all Yeah, exactly. So um bitcoin is our first one and then ethereum is the second one palladium is a metal and they use it for catalytic converters they use it for all kinds of stuff palladium has outgrown gold silver everything like gold was what 187 percent increase over 32 years okay gold was like at 187 percent increase over 32 years meaning in the last 32 years in the last 30 let's just say 30 in the last 30 years, gold went up 180%. Then we looked up silver, right? Is that the next one we did? And silver had gone up like what? Like that was like 230% or something. So silver over the last 30 years was 230% increase. Palladium, and let me get this right. Do you remember what it was? Yeah. So palladium over the last 30 years has gone up 1,800%. Do you have any idea how many yurts that'll buy? That's a ton of yurts. I mean, that's that's a yurt for everybody. A yurt for everyone. 1,800%. Now, what was the website that you can look at this at and type it up on the form and then take it up? Go below, go below the five and type this out. What was that website? There's a specific site to let me, JM Bullion. Okay, type it real quick below number five and put put notes, notes, colon. Dude, that percentage is even up. You're kidding me. What's the percentage now? Palladium in the last. All right, put notes, years, colon, and then do what you're saying. I will 2039.06. Okay, since the last time we checked, palladium was at 1,800% increase. Now it's over 2,000% increase. And let me tell you, it's pretty good. I mean, I, dude, it's good stuff. Now, what we've noticed with palladium is it stays right at about 2,900. It, it, it was rising really fast. It's kind of a little, it's a little sticky right now, but it's a solid thing. And as that thing shoots up, man, good Lord almighty. All right, our next one that we have that we do is, uh, oh, you got it over there too? No. Yeah. So we'll put it in the box, I'm saying, so they can read it. Here you go. Okay, so that's the uh, shorten it down, yeah. So if you want to learn more about Palladium, go check out that link right there. Go go get that link right there. And you can read about like Palladium, gold, silver, all that. Uh, JM Bullion is a great place to look. Well, here's the neat thing. In Uphold, they let you do it as a cryptocurrency. So, you know, we bought, we have an ounce of it. And uh, it's, it's already treating us good. We got the ounce at about 25, uh, I think. No, we got it at what, 24? We got it when it first, right after it pushed back, it broke its record at 27.50. No, I well, no. We 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 looked at oh, it. Oh, we looked at it at twenty four. Yeah, what was what, what was twenty five? Yeah, that's why I the um. God, I hate this phone, man. It goes light so fast. I go to settings for that too. Um, <laughs> at any rate, um, the palladium now uh, we put in at twenty seven hundred. Right now we're at uh, twenty nine hundred with that. So it, it's it's been great for us, and it's just going to steadily rise over the next bit of time. The next one that we have is uh. Um, oh, palladium. Yeah, that wasn't in our top five, right? That's our non because we got. Oh, no, we did. Yeah, yeah no, I'm sorry. Yeah, we did. We did. I'm sorry. The next one that we have is called uh, XRP. That is uh, XRP is um, pretty popular. Pretty popular. You're hearing a lot of talk about it. 
Um, that's called it's the Ripple. Uh, Ripple is, but that's XRP. Here, people talk. And lastly, is Dogecoin. Uh, Dogecoin. So go ahead and put that one there. And uh, Dogecoin is, um, I think they just uh, spell it Doge, D O G E. Yeah, D O G E. So this is our five. This is our five. Now, there are people chasing Sea Moon, Sailor Moon, you know, Soleil Moon Fry, whatever. I, I don't give a shit. That is not our game. We decided that we want to keep our focus narrowed because, you know, if you really focus on just a few things and you do them all the time, if you're focusing on them, you know, an hour a day or 30 minutes a day, five days, six days a week, and you're really learning the simplistic stuff to us, in our opinion, let's go back to the chat room. We'll see if anybody's got questions or usually comments on this type of topic, but, um, for us, we're looking at longevity as well as some of the fun. Now, what we do with Dogecoin and XRP is they are very volatile, and we like that. We like that. You like that. We're fans of that, okay? Let's see what we got here. I'll be in and out. Let's see, Cardano is also a Coinbase long-term hold and very affordable right now. Okay, look. Ethereum is the number two crypto and still has a lot of room to grow. And Rockstar Investments is a platform that all the crypto work. Yeah. And again, Lori's right. Uh, you know, Ethereum is a very solid it might, and, and if you wanted me to tell you what is on the rise it's ethereum if you're like pappy get me into something that's gonna rise here's the two things i'd say right out of the gate or the three things i'd say right out of the gate if you wanted to go into three that you knew you're not gonna lose your money and that at least one out of three is gonna boom i'm gonna say bitcoin i'm gonna say ethereum and i'm gonna say palladium not necessarily in that order but I'm going to tell you right now, Ethereum out of the three is rocket launching right now. And by the way, tune into the show every week and we'll tell you about this stuff. Now, we're going to do more in finances in the future than just crypto because you need to have a financial plan. You need to know how to divert your money. You need to know how to have savings. You need to tithe. You need to give to a community, something. Uh, you know, there's a lot more that we're going to be getting into. But, you know, today and, and a lot of our financial talk every week is going to be about crypto because Here's the neat thing. It's the working man's chance. Every time the government, whether it's foreclosed homes, whether it's stock market, the government gets involved and jacks everything up for us. They screw everything up. They take away from the little guy. And, uh, you know, this is a chance that, and that's why they're pissed. They are pissed because if this crypto goes off like it's going off, this becomes the currency and all that dollar stuff is out of the, out of here. And there's a lot of people speculating that the dollar is about to go bust. Uh, not tomorrow, but, you know, in in, in, in the near future, uh, as, as, as soon as 10 to 20 years, uh, that the dollar could go bust. And Bitcoin is leading that charge. Um, don't get it twisted. Bitcoin is the big daddy. Ethereum is rising up very well, so you can get into that. Here's what we do with Doge and XRP. They are so volatile, but they're the right type of volatile. Now, I want to show you something. I want to show you what we're talking about, and I'm going to go to uh, I'm going to go to XRP, and I'm going to go to the one hour. Let's see, one hour, yeah. Or I'm going to see you got the one day. Okay, yeah. So what we like to see when something's volatile is it needs to have small dips and big dips, and so right now, as you see with like XRP. You'll come into these dips and then pop. It'll come back up and go down and then go pop. And so that's the one day. But then you look at like, uh, let me see, where am I at? Okay. You go to, uh, let's see, Ethereum, you know. Now, Ethereum, that one's doing a little different. Here's Ethereum. <laughs> so when I told you that Ethereum is the bomb diggity, that's the bomb diggity. Okay. This one is just, that's called just rising. <laughs> Here's the one week view. It's just rising. Okay. Let's see here. Here's the one month view. Just rising. Okay. Here's <laughs> here's the one year view. It was doing nothing and then boop, rising a lot. <laughs> okay. In the last hour. Now here's a great example. So you'll see the little red here in uphold. You know, that's I love uphold's chart. But you'll see like the little red dips and stuff. That's fine. But this is the other thing you see with Ethereum. Bam! That's awesome. 
Now, what we like to do is we like to watch XRP and Doge, and we keep a base, a base of money. Now, you have to decide what it is for you. For some people, they come into some money. Maybe you came into $1,000, $5,000, $10,000. Well, then you take that and you put a base for yourself. But if you're going to put a base, put a base that's really working. Don't put your base as Dogecoin. You know, don't put your base, you know, at XRP yet. Now, that looks like the cheaper one and this and that. But, you know, if you got your first $1,000 and you want it to grow and do something, don't get caught up in this volatile, get rich, catch a tiger by the tail thing. Uh, you need to put something in that's like going to be a rock for you. So what we suggest is that you get, you know, um, into Ethereum, um, you know, that you get Palladium going, you get Bitcoin going, however you want to do that. You want to put it all in Ethereum, you put your thousand in Ethereum and watch it grow. Awesome. That's great. You, uh, you want to put it in Bitcoin, watch it grow. Fine. That's great. Palladium. Fine. Then you got to come up with the way that you want to feed it. You got to water it just like a, a crop. What we've been doing and it's working is we went through and we said, what are the ones we really want to have, be involved with? So they all have a promise, right? They all have not a promise, but an expectation, a valuation. So one of the valuations is that, like, for instance, XRP, they talk about it hitting 1,000 or 10,000. Well, here's what that means for you guys out there. Here's what that means. And they're, they're talking about it pretty hard. And so we say, okay, we sit there and listen. We're like, hmm, okay. You think XRP will go to, you know, a thousand or whatever. So here's the idea of what, this is why you need long-term thinking and not just this volatile grab some money thing, which we'll get to that. But you go to XRP right now and let's say it's a dollar 49. Let's say it's a dollar 49 right now. Um, and you go and grab, I don't know. Let's say you go and grab a thousand of them. Okay. So you've got 1,049 coins, okay, 1,490 coins, okay? So what they're saying is um, times, they're saying one of the big ones that they're saying, right now it's $1.49. So they're saying, oh, it's going to go to 100. Okay, it's going to go to 100. Well, if you bought 1,000 at, uh, you know, say you had that 1,500 bucks laying around, well, your 1,500 bucks then could look like that if it hits 100, Okay. That's, 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 this is where people start getting excited. Then they said, well, hey, I got 149 coins and it may hit a thousand because they're, you know, they're, they're really projecting some of that stuff. Whoops. I did that wrong. So, you know, it hits a thousand. There's your 149,000. Apologies. So, you know, it hits, it hits a thousand and there's your hundred, but here's what they're looking at. I got 149 coins and it hit $10,000. That's what people are excited about almost one and a half million dollars, okay? Now, some people call that a pipe dream and everything else, You, that's up to you. That's up to you what you wanna call it. But there is realities out there. And Bitcoin is the best place to do research to see. We've had naysayers in this, and what I call them on this show, I call them dream stealers. And you gotta be careful in your life on the dream stealers that surround you. It'll be your family, your friends, your workers. You know, dream stealers are gonna come at you every which way but loose. Because they don't have the balls to do what you're trying to do and make yourself better, especially in the financial market, let alone physical or spiritual. But in this thing, how long has everybody that you've heard been knocking Bitcoin? Well, I can tell you what, since I ever first saw Bitcoin and it was like $40 a coin, and now you look at it, it rose up to 63000 And for the last two years, it's going to fall and think, it's going to fall and think, it's going to fall and think. Yeah, big whoop, it fell down just recently. It's down in the 55,000s, 59,000, something like that, a coin. No, it's not going anywhere. It dips and goes up, dips, it goes up, dips, goes up. Small dips, large rises. And that's what's happening with crypto. And what people are understanding is you can get in now and do the, but you have to have the courage to do it. You have to have the stones to be able to get in and mess with that stuff. And we consider the long-term play the better play. What we've always looked at it as is what's that checking account or savings account, that savings account where we can let our money sit and actually make money. That was the biggest thing for Wes and I. We didn't just want it because we were literally were going to buy a safe. We were going to buy a safe and get it in the house and sit it in there. Let's go to the chat room real quick, see what everybody's yakking about. But uh, we we're going to, uh, okay, people must be listening because we got viewers and nobody's chatting. So they must be listening to my shit. Okay. All right. So here's the thing. 
we were going to get a safe, put the money in the safe. And we're like, well, that's just sitting there. Okay, no, we're not going to do that. And then we're like, we looked at the crypto and we're like, man, you know, what's interesting is like, if you put that in there, you're not going to win every day. And <laughs> believe me, you will not win every day, but you win overall, but you win overall. Zero question, zero debate. And if anybody wants to debate it, they can come to me and I won't kick their ass except with data. I've got the data to show that that's bullshit. Anybody talking shit on crypto doesn't know what the fuck they're talking about. If they talk shit on it, they don't know what they're saying. They're scared and they don't have the balls you do and the stones you do. There is not a major crypto that I'm talking about that you can see in the overall that it did not only reset. And that's the thing about crypto, man, stocks fall when a stock falls, good luck getting that back up to where it was at. You're going to, it's going to take years to do that. But when a crypto falls, we've seen episodes where it went up 500% and Bitcoin fell down 50% and came back up 80%. I mean, it just in days. And that's the nice thing about crypto is that to be honest with you, that kind of, it's like a safe volatility. <laughs> if there's such a thing, you got the volatility to try to get money out of it. But then if it falls down, it's like, it's okay. I'm getting back up. It's okay, man. I'm dusting off, man. I'm running up the door. Okay, do you want to run with me, man? Let's go again, man. And that's what that's what crypto does right there, man. And so what we what we suggest, if you want to, if you're following us, here's what we're doing. We are not crypto chasing. Wes and I are not the ones to come to. We're not going to be on this show going, the latest in crypto, blah, blah, blah. Mm -mm. That to us is a fool's errand because the only reason why is you're saying, Pappy, you just said that it's a good bet, you know. But if you diversify too much, too much diversification can be bad. Now, diversifying is good, and we've done that. And you'll learn that when you learn about some of these cryptos and Coinbase. We encourage you to get Coinbase at least to be your learner, to get up there. But the, the problem is, is that people get out there and you see them, okay, uh, go to Shiba. Are you going to say, hey, listen, God bless you all for doing that. That is not us. We are looking at taking the hard-earned money that we got and putting it in the safest, most powerful vehicles. Where we do play is we watch XRP and Dogecoin like a hawk. And that's just simply because we chose to watch it because there's tons of news on it tons there's tons of news on bitcoin tons on ethereum tons on uh dogecoin and tons on xrp well if there's that much news youtube channels uh news organizations everybody's talking about those that means that's being broadcast that's being sold to the people of the world saying hey here's what you know about and these are the big ones and you can get in and they're going to rise and be somewhat safe and to me i think they're very safe Palladium is the only one that we accidentally, right, Russ? We accidentally bumped in on because what we were hunting down was silver. We thought, hey, because we knew gold was like, it's good, but it gets very sometimes flaky. <laughs> gold flakes, get it? Um, but the silver, we were looking at silver, and we, we talked to a friend of ours and like, silver, yeah. We accidentally bumped, I didn't even, I, I'm going to be honest with you, I didn't even know what palladium was. But this is the beauty about research. When you research, you get this stuff. And we look at the plate and we find out it's catalytic converters and all this stuff and all this different stuff being built in computers is made out of palladium, 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 palladium. Then we look and it's like 1,800% increase over the last 30 years. Today we look at it and that was like four weeks ago when we looked at it. Today we look at it and it's over 2,000% increase over 30 years. Hello? Hello? Anybody home? <laughs> yeah, let me, let me go to Safe Moon. Let me go to Save Moon and just hope and believe that that goes. Even though I have no charts to disertain whether that'll be good or not. No. We decided to put ours in safe stuff. So some of you may be coming into this. Um, Lisa Grubb is here. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I want to see what Lori said here. Because, boy, Lori, I, I, I'm very, I love what she's typing. I am, I am, I am, I am. Uh, right there, I'm handcuffed to what she's saying because I love it. I never had the money to invest in the stock market last year, March 2020, and I invested 3K in the stock market. I invested in pharma, yeah, GE, yeah, Ford, 
and other reliable stuff sold some reinvest every few months i would put in 500 to a thousand into the stock market this morning i woke up to 48,000 in my what okay in my portfolio and that's stocks right oh uh, that's in, basically in a hurdle her entire investment portfolio, yeah. And she says, very good format today, explaining how to get started in crypto. And so that's what this really is about, is the crypto. Now, listen, I'm not saying you can't have success in stocks. That's ridiculous. You know, we, Wes and I, literally, when we first put this together, we were thinking, we'll do the top 10 cryptos, and we'll do the top 10 stocks. And we like that top 20 format because we're dudes, college football, AP top 20. We were used to seeing who went to number one on Mondays after playing on Saturdays, you know, and stuff like that. For us, we decided absolutely against stocks. Now, listen to me. Listen to me. I don't mean that stocks are bad. And stocks are like an extension of 719 Co. It's about investing in companies and things of that nature. And I get it. And listen, you can make money on Amazon and stuff. And by the way, one thing Lori says is she had money last year to invest in the stock market. And uh, don't forget, you don't have to have the full price of the stock. You can buy fractional shares. So if like, what I mean is like, if Google is like, um, you know, $3,000 a stock, you can actually, there's there's stuff out there like Stash and some of the other ones, uh, Charles Schwab, where you can buy slices of that stock. So say you wanted to get in Google and it's three thousand dollars, and you only have a hundred bucks. You can put a hundred bucks in there. You go to uh, Charles Schwab's, probably one of the best ones. When we researched it, Charles Schwab, absolutely probably one of the best ones. I can't remember the name of the other one. It was a long name. It was like Investment Brokers something. I, I can't remember. Don't don't quote me on that. But it started with an I, and they are really top notch. Uh, but Charles Schwab, really good. They got this thing called Slices. And if that's something you're into, do it. That will never be on our show. We have nothing to do with the stock market. Um, our biggest reasoning is why mess with the stock market when you have the consistent, insane growth of something you can count on. When palladium is going up 1,800% now, 2,000% over the last 30 years, why am I going to mess with an Apple stock that's going up seven? <laughs> and again... I'm not, and by the way, absolutely, I am not knocking Lori at all. And Lori, darling, I love you, baby. Please understand. And I think you understand. I'm not knocking you. And and extreme congratulations on taking hold of your finances and taking 3000 into 48000 When I speak, I'm only speaking for Wes and I. And people that are watching, you can, you can listen to us and say, oh, I might do what they're doing or something at your own risk. Uh, but you also may have a different thing, and that's why I like the chat room. She and when we get the phone, she tell her story. what's that? She come tell her story. And the, and by the way, Lori, and make no mistake, this is why we created a guest spot here in the show. Lori, you are absolutely invited to come to be a guest on our show. Uh, come to the studio, sit down. Uh, anybody like Lori that's passionate about changing their finances, changing their physical life, or, or spiritual life, or spiritual influence. Be guests on our show. I will get big name people here. Trust me, it's what I did with Fox Sports when I was on Fox Sports, award winning show. Okay, Tony D and Pappy. Um, but at any rate, let's talk about this. And you know, as we do this financial segment, I where are we at? Uh, give me the population. Uh, right now. Okay, so when you look at this, and I've had a lot of people asking about this. If you see people asking about this, we are going to be chopping up this today's video. We got the uh, physical part and the financial part that ends up on YouTube separate from this so that you can just go to the physical, so that you can just go to the financial um, part. But crypto is what you make of it. Now, Joseph Fisher got on early, said, hey, Sheba, you can. And I am not making fun of Joseph. I'm not making fun of Lori. You can go chase Sheba. You can go chase Simon and listen. And one reason they're chasing him is because like, she was like, I don't know, point zero 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 three seven cents so it's really appealing to people because they're saying man if i got a thousand dollars i go into that and if that thing even hits a penny ooh, yeah yeah man that's 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 big um that's not for us we don't and by the way some of them are so hard to find good luck getting sea moon okay does anybody and if you're on here does anybody got sea moon is that what it's called safe moon yeah that's how much i don't give a shit about it 
because I felt like I was in a drowning sea trying to get to the shit. And you had to go to this thing to go transfer to this. You had to go to Binance to go then flip it over to Pancake, Pancake swap over to this, <laughs> flip flap and a flapjack. No, thank you. Now, safe move. You even had to hand deliver a ham sandwich to it. And I had to hand deliver a ham sandwich. I would love to be a guest. Let me know when. Lori, you are duly invited, my sister. So let's look at that. Let's look at that uh, maybe next week, Lori. Uh, next Wednesday, we do it in the morning. I like to do it live. If you can come here to the studio, that'd be great. Um, Lori, if you're interested in that, go ahead and inbox me um, that you would like to do that, and we'll make it happen. So closing out on the financials, we got to close in today. Um, what you do with crypto is up to you and your comfort zone. If you would like to start by following what we do, I can guarantee this. You are not going to wake up one day and find you have no dollars in your account. That's not going to happen. You're not going to wake up one day and find, you know, that everything's gone. Um, crypto is so much different than stocks. Stocks have touchy, tangible things. And stocks have greedy bankers and government people affecting those prices. Now, are there fluctuations in crypto? Yeah. But there's not these, there's so many avenues of touchy, corrupt stuff in stocks. And that's why they're icky to me and Wes. And again, we understand that America in some shape or form is built on stocks. We're not mocking anyone that has stocks, not at all. Um, but for us, crypto has a lot less hands on it. It's not being touched by all these people. There's no Fed. There's no government on this thing. And you know, the neat thing about crypto, one reason we got up, well, that's in UK. So that money's in the UK. And we're not dealing with all the taxes and the transfer taxes and all the things you got to mess with with stocks. That's another reason why I'm in crypto. So if you get a small inheritance, say you got a small inheritance of $20,000 or something, maybe you got some extra PPP money and you really want to change your, your, your life around because COVID really racked you. Um, the beautiful thing about crypto is if you have $100, instead of buying cigarettes that are 10 bucks a pack, you know, cut down on your Starbucks, cut down on your cigarettes, cut down on Captain D's, you know, cut down on your, you know, all these subscriptions to, you know, whatever, um, you know, take a hundred bucks and you can take a hundred bucks. And, and essentially what we do is we got our, let's go back to the five that we got. Lori says she can come down here. So let's, I'll talk to Lori after the show and we'll get Lori down here and we'll discuss it with her. I think it's going to be a great talk because Lori, the nice thing with Lori is she did, a, if I understand what I'm seeing from Lori, she did crypto and she did the stocks. So while we're not stock people, it'd be nice to have her on here because the thing I like about her story, she's a woman that took a hold of her finances and she made it work. She took 3K and made a 48K. That, why, why, wouldn't, why wouldn't we want to talk to her? Why wouldn't we? Yeah, you just said it the same way I did. Why wouldn't we want to talk to Lori and get her story out there? Um, so... To end this episode, here's what we're saying. This is what we are doing. And if you want to do it, we're doing fine. We are not financial advisors. We're just people piecing together life in three different um, disciplines. Spiritual, physical, financial. And in the financial part, here is what we got. We believe in five cryptos and that's it. We have fun watching everybody else make money. Big, big, big men money. But we don't have fun watching everybody lose big money because they read it wrong. And you can lose all your money in this if you do it stupid. That you can do. I'm just saying I guarantee if you do it the way we do, you're not going to wake up tomorrow and everything's gone. Uh, but there are people that do some stupid shit. I mean, they put 5000 out on you know this thing and it and it tanks bad. And they lose like three or $4,000. They don't have a backup plan. They don't have another currency. <laughs> Look, God bless you if you're going down that road. But, you know, again, catching the tiger by the tail is very difficult. We use five. Bitcoin, the granddaddy of them all, the Rose Bowl, if you will. You know, there's like the Rose Bowl, the Orange Bowl, the Sugar Bowl, you know, the Tostitos Bowl, you know, the Fiesta Bowl. If you're in a college football, you only have those like four or five major bowls. That's kind of how we look at this. Bitcoin, absolutely granddaddy of them all, insurance. That is essentially our checking account. Now, here's what's beautiful about these coins that you get. When you get them on uphold, 
you can transact between them. And now, Apple, we don't have a fee when we transact between the There's coins. A little teeny, tiny like it's a tiny one, right? Yeah. Okay, tell you what we're gonna do, and we don't have the answer this week. We just noticed it was so tiny, we didn't really finite get the answer. Wes, write this down in your notes. Here's what we want for next week's show. I want to know we're gonna get the transaction totals of every major wallet, and we're gonna put all the wallets against each against each other. Okay, so here you go. Have a pen. Here you go. Okay, here. Have some paper. <laughs> Write it on there. Okay. So we're going to go through every wall, every major wallet, and we're going to look at the transaction fees versus uphold and things like that. So we're going to look at transaction fees, deposit fees, all that stuff. I'm telling you right now, the beautiful thing with this here is we got five coins, and I mean, I'm talking like, eek, 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 eek. And even we deposited the money. We What, did, what was the, like, the deposit rate on that? What was the... I know we deposited 1820 in our account, but what did they take off the top? Like it was like five bucks or something like that, or yeah, well, it was like four or five bucks. Anything that so far we wanted to see from uphold from upholds. Anywhere from just a few cents to like four bucks. Yeah. And it depended on how much you were taking out. Yes. Now we took out once a, yeah, that's right, because we took out uh what was it, fifty dollars once? Yeah. We took out like fifty bucks and it was like I think it was like 30 cents or something like that. We took out 1800 bucks. It was like four bucks, something like that. I will get that really finite for you as we develop this show and get better and better. But um, we use these five, Bitcoin being like our checking account. So, and don't get me wrong, and we'll talk about this on another show. We have $12,500 out in cash into a live business opportunity. That's why we got to leave for Oklahoma next week that we put in... Uh, PDR, which is paintless stint repair. Um, and so we're going down to Oklahoma. We ended up using that 12500 to buy tools for a shop down in Oklahoma, Norman, Oklahoma, which I get to go see my boomer sooners. Um, and so that's live action money. That's like investing in a company, and we're keeping that like rolling. Other than that, we keep all of our money in Bitcoin. And then from Bitcoin, we go out to these other ones. Ethereum. Ethereum is just flat out, folks. It is on the rise. I mean, it is right. Not just today. Not just like hurry up and do it today. I'm talking like all time rise, dude. It is it is flowing up. Now, let me give you an example here real quick. Let's say you didn't know anything about, um, let's say we're looking at prices. I'm going to, um, so here's an example. This is from Coinbase, and I'm going to give you an example of why Coinbase is so awesome. Okay, let's see here. Can you turn that overhead light off just real quick? Let me see what happens there. Okay, that's kind of cool too. Let me see if I can get it on here. It's very, okay. So as you see, the market <laughs> for Ethereum, I don't know, pretty good. <laughs> and let me see, let me tell you the difference between people, okay? Let me tell you the difference between people. People bitch right here. Okay? That's where the bitching comes from, right here, in these little dips. And then people that don't bitch, God damn, this is hard. The people that don't bitch are all right here. Okay? So that's the first part. Any of the dips you see there is people bitching. And then any of the rises, the massive rises, those are people that don't listen to people that bitch. Okay? those They don't listen to the dream stealers and they stay in. So remember, keep in mind something. We bought this at twenty five hundred a coin. It is now at forty two forty seven a coin. Oh, by the way, if you were to listen to the show today, look at that. Damn it, this is hard. If you look right now, it just dipped. So some jack wagons out there telling you this thing sucks, and they're going, "Hey, look, it went down." Yeah, okay, Junior. Yeah, it went down. Look at that. It went down there, and then it went. E like that thing on Price is Right. Man, a lot of Price is Right references. All right, but here's what they do. They'll give you the hour, the day, the week, the month. Here's what I love that they do here, though. They come in and they'll tell you about it. They'll give you some examples about it. So here's one. Ethereum is a decentralized computing platform that uses ETH, also called Ether, to pay transaction fees or gas Developers can use Ethereum to run decentralized applications, dApps, 
and issue new crypto assets known as Ethereum tokens. Okay. And they give you, if you, if you keep going down, they'll give you the, uh, there's more resources there. You can read about the market stats, the market cap, the volume, the circulating supply, the trading activity. If you put in the work to find out about this stuff, yeah, you can watch us. You can watch other YouTube specialists and this and that. If that's what you want to do, if that's your game, if that's what you're about, watching other people and getting your info, fine. But if you watch other people and do your own research, you will learn twice as fast and you'll be making more money twice as fast. And we lost everything, folks. We lost everything. For us, we took a portion of our PPP. We finally got approved. They changed the law and allowed self, uh, what do you call it? Um, not, what's that word? Sole proprietor. Um, they allowed sole proprietors to enter in. Jerry's got a question. And uh, Jerry, on what platform do you trade? Can't seem to find one app where I could trade all five of those and other crypto investments. I hate using multiple apps. Okay, Jerry, you're going to have to get used to using multiple apps. There's no way around it. And I'm sorry, buddy. I didn't make the rules. I didn't create the game. Uh, I just play in the game. But for our five, you can use Uphold. All of our five, you can use Uphold. And I tell you what, if you guys are going to use Uphold, please wait until we put out the Uphold uh, usage today. We'll put a link. Wait till we put out the link. And if you want to help this show... In a little way, in a little way, wait till we put out the uphold link today on our Facebook. Click on that uphold link through us and then, you know, get yourself started. So let's go back. Uh, oh, we received 100 messages today. We got the Restream Trophy Award. But uh, here's why. Here's what's happened, Jerry. These crypto wallets are a business and they're all trying to attract you in a certain way. So it's no different than like if you search for an RV. If you go to an RV dealership, no RV dealership has all of the RVs that are available in the country. You know, you could have Grand Design, Keystone, Jayco. Man, I've learned a lot from Missy, haven't I? Uh, Airstream and all this and that. Even within the same brands, you could have, um, you know, Keystone could have Jayco's on Windish Lot. And then you could go to Camping World and find Arcadia, you know, even within the same company. So the wallets do the same thing. What we like about Uphold, and I'm with you, Jerry. I am with you. We got tired of bouncing around, so we just kept Coinbase for a Bitcoin account, and that Bitcoin account goes to 719Co, all the money in that account. And I'm going to finish this, wrap this up by telling you what we do. Go back to that screen. Go back to that screen. Thomas Dowling's there. What's up, dude? Rockstar Marble and Granite. Okay, so we use this right here. These are our five Bitcoin, Ethereum. Palladium is that metal. It's that precious metal that they use with catalytic converters and they use it in computers. And uh, they mine it a lot out of Russia. And it's a very, there's only a few mines that they get it out of. So it's very rare. It's gone up 2,000% over 30 years. You bet your bottom dollar we're in that one. Um, Ripple is the XRP. Okay. And again, if you, you know, if you guys, you know, want to know what these are, you know, let me, let me do this again for you. Okay. So you can go to the markets right here. Um, excuse me. Um, you can go to the markets and here we go. XRP and on Coinbase, this is what's great about it. And see, this is what I like about XRP. Look at that volatility. That, that shit's all over the place, you know, and I like that stuff. That's where you can find your money. Small dips, small dips, big highs, small dips, big highs. That is a perfect structure to make that quick money you guys are talking about. But if you go here, if you go to Coinbase, this is what nice. They'll tell you about it right here, all this information. You know, for instance, XRP, in light of, and they got an update, by the way, in light of the SEC's actions against Ripple Labs, trading in XRP has been suspended as of January 19th. Now, in Coinbase, you can't get XRP. Here's one thing that led us to uphold. The One of the main things that got us to uphold was that you could get XRP there. That's based in the United Kingdom. So you get uphold, you can get XRP. So those people telling you, well, you can't get XRP right now. In the United States, you cannot get it on the regular apps. But if you go to Uphold, you can get it. And then it goes on to tell you that it's a cryptocurrency using the Ripple Payment Network. Built for enterprise use, XRP aims to be a fast, cost-efficient cryptocurrency for cross-border payments. 
let me surmise what that means. That XRP is trying to be the banking dollar. That this is why everybody's talking about it. Now, right now it's at like a dollar forty nine. I did not expect this financial show to go this long, but I, I guess there's so much to say, right? Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter how long we're talking. If we get, do we have people still watching? Yeah, you're still here. No shit. Damn, that's crazy. Okay, huh? That's cool. We've got salt. Solid chunk. Yeah, okay, listen. Well, hey, I'll keep talking. So, the, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Okay, <laughs> screw that. I'm having coffee. Okay, apparently it's iced coffee. Um. So, the thing with XRP is they're going banking. India just dumped hundreds of millions of dollars in XRP. What everybody's waiting for, XRP is that one, and here's here's... I, I hope you can disseminate the strategies. And I tell you what, next week I'm going to go over all this, but I'm going to really shorten it up and make it soft and sweet. And we're going to have nice little pictures and stuff. But we, you know, again, uh, you know, we lost two people this morning. Um, and, and so it shook us up a little bit. And uh, so we got a little off track, but that's the banking one. And so, yeah, it's at $1.49. And it goes up. It's gone up to, what is it, $1.70 or something like that? Or it went up to $1.90, didn't it? It's gone up to a dollar ninety, and it's dipped down to ninety eight cents. Me personally, I like to wait till it gets to like ninety eight cents or a dollar, get in, and then watch it go rise up again, and then get out. But what we do is, and I am going to write this one out because I think and I'm going to use a green marker to represent money. Okay, here's what happens, and I'll give you an example. I'm going to write a line here, and I'll say it's XRP. So what I do is. I wait until XRP is at like 98 cents to, I'm going to say, I don't know, lately, probably like a dollar 20, a dollar 30, but let's just say a dollar 25. Okay. So this is the first part. So I wait till XRP is that. And so that's my base. And so at that base, I purchase my coins. Now for me, I do my math like this. Okay. If XRP is, let, let, let's just say this, whatever XRP is at that I buy that, I sit there and say, if this thing were to pop, what makes me a millionaire with that one? What, if it really is going to pop, what would be like, I'm going to be a millionaire? And the only reason I look at that with XRP is it's been talked about for 1,000, 10,000, going to that kind of level. Okay. I'm not saying I'm all bought into that, by the way. I am not. At the very least, this little volatile game that it's playing has made us some money. This is that side hobby money that we have. But here's what I do. So that number for me is 100 in XRP. So if you want to follow along an example, here's what it is. I look at that and I go, okay, if I get 100 coin, that means each coin is worth, in this case, and what I bought. I bought it at 98 cents. Well, I first bought it at 40 cents, and then again bought it at 98 cents. And for like the last three weeks, it hasn't been any lower than $1.30. So I've been doing good with it. So I go in and I say, I'm going to get 100 coin. That's 100 C, 100 coin. I'm going to buy it at 98 cents and $1.25. So then here's how it works. What I tell myself in my head is, that will always be my base. So if I buy... If I, let's say I bought it at, in which I did, I bought it at 98 cents and I got a hundred of those coins. Okay. Here's what it is. That's a hundred, that's $98. That's less than a hundred dollars, 98 bucks. And I got a hundred coin. So I've got a hundred coins in my base. I will never, ever, ever take out that hundred coin until damn near the very end. Probably. And even then, I'll still keep 10% in. And when I say the very end, if the good Lord blessed me to live to 70 or 80, I'll probably keep everything but 10% in there. And, uh, and just, I want to see my kids have fun and, and with me alive. So I'll probably rip it all out and be like, where are you going? What are you doing? I want to see you have fun. I want to see you buy a house. I want to see you buy a boat. I'll probably rip it out and be like that. And here's the thing. hundred coin. So keep, keep up with me here. So I bought a hundred coin. $98. And this is a true story. This is what happened with ours. But this is what can happen with yours. 
So I bought $98, got me 100 coin. Now what happens is, where's that coin at? Well, that coin, that specific coin, it went all the way up to $1.91, okay? So that coin went in at a dot. So it rose up and it went up to $1.91 from that coin. This is, you want to know crypto, I, I got to keep talking because this is how it works. And I can't do it in one sentence. It doesn't work like that. So sue me. I don't care. Um, I got till 10 o'clock anyway. So look at this. Look at this. So we go, we get 100 coins at XRP. This is a true story, by the way. This is what happened for me. And then Wes followed along with this one. There's another one that Wes did, and I followed along with Wes. And we worked as a team together to figure it out. And we sit here at our desk, and we figure this shit out together. And we just look back and forth and talk. So this, this really happened. So I had 100 coin times a dollar 91 a coin so my 98 so minus the 98 dollars i invested that's how i made 93 bucks now i'm going to ask you a question if you work 8 hours a day that's 11 dollars and 62 cents an hour now i have bought way more than 100 coin and so that number is way higher but I'm giving you an example. If you had a hundred bucks on you and you're saying, Babby, tell us about the crypto. How does it work? How does the crypto work, man? Well, shut up and listen. Listen, 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 Linda. Okay. This is how it works. Okay. XRP. I got it at 98 cents. You get a hundred coins. You take that 90, you take that hundred bucks, 98 bucks, put it in there. And actually the hundred bucks with the little fee when you start probably comes out to roughly about that. It'll be about 98, maybe 97 or whatever. Well, when that thing hits up to a hundred a dollar ninety-one, I wait to see if there's a little like fall off. You know, and you're gonna have to decide what that is for you. Is it 10%? Is it like does the little red line go beyond your thumbnail? You know, I don't know, whatever you decide, you know, is is you know, did Yellowstone have a bad episode? So you decided to pull? I don't know. It's up to you. So what we do is something called scrape. And I'm going to put this on here. And this is what we do. We call it, we, we do a scrape. And what we do is we scrape off that profit. So we do a thing called a scrape. Okay. And so what happens is it goes and hits up to $1.91. And it, now remember, the base of it is always 100 The base of it's 100 This is play money. This is the stuff everybody's talking. This is where people are making money. With Dogecoin, with XRP, even with Bitcoin. Even, you know, like I, I wouldn't do this with Ethereum because Ethereum is just going up. So, I mean, you put money in Ethereum and you do that to just to rise that bad boy up. But this right here, this is the playground. This is the playground. Now, here's the funny thing. Let's say, let's say you did Dogecoin and you bought in here, but like the SNL experiment that went horribly wrong for us. Okay. I mean, that thing went down like Mama Cass on a ham sandwich. Okay, that thing went down, but guess what we did? As it went down, we went ahead and pulled our money again. We scraped it again, only this time it was in a negative, and then we put it in Ethereum, and guess what Ethereum did? It rose it back up, it, it, and it, 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 it increased and profited the money. So these people out here telling you the train has left Doge, they're wrong. I guess I could call them names and stuff, but I'm, I'm turning over a new leaf. But besides being idiots, they're wrong. <laughs> they're wrong. Okay? It's these, these, these people. You, here's the problem with crypto. Is you got to first get past all these authority figures. Everybody's a badass. Everybody knows everything. Everybody was in it from the beginning. Okay, great. Awesome. But, like, what's the reality? Is to It's the KISS philosophy. Keep it simple, stupid. And either keep the philosophy stupid or keep it simple stupid, meaning us. It's like keep it simple stupid. Use the kiss philosophy. And let's go back to the let's go back to the list. Let's go back to the list. That's what we did here. That's what we did. You number one, you don't have to do this at all. And there's people watching this going, huh, these morons are missing out on all the money they could be making. I can tell you this, we're not missing out on any money we're losing because we're not losing. 
We haven't been, we were experimenting with this before we ever did our first episode of No Excuse Warrior. So get a hold of that, Jack, before anybody wants to come calling. Because I've got all the paperwork and all the data to show what we've been doing. And we decided to put this on because if it can help you make more money, what would $100 do if you can multiply it? And you, those volatilities hit all week long. You could make $93 a day. We have made $75 a day. We have made $570 a day. We have made $1,000 in a day. Now, is that every day? No, because we did lose $125 in the overall, but then gained $450. Then we lost another $145, but then we gained another $300. So yeah, you're going to get the dip, but the dip, that's where the quitters are. The dips are where the quitters hang out. And then the rebounds are where the winners hang out. And if you want to be a winner, if you want to get outside of this government system, if you want to get outside and have a chance, just try a hundred bucks and try the XRP thing or whatever. You know, like I said, you got to decide where you buy that. That's the only thing I'll tell you. You want to make sure that that's the lowest possible point that you feel comfortable with. Try to find that gap. You're always trying to find that gap. And this is where daily cost average comes in, which I'm going to finish up and tell you about. This is where cross point theory comes in, which we're going to tell you about in other weeks of the show. But, you know, here's the final thing that we do. We got all of, in, in this thing right here, we got all of our basic coins except for Bitcoin. That's just our savings account. That's a savings account, and then we trade out of that. So we go into Ethereum. We have an Ethereum coin. We have a Palladium coin. We have an X. We have... What, how many XRP do we have right now? 100? Uh, I, yeah. yeah, 100. So we have 100 XRP. And so the only reason we got that is because, hey, if it goes up to 10,000, there's 100,000 because I believed. Other than that, I'm going to make money in the volatility. So until it hits 10,000, uh, no. If it hits 10,000, millionaire. Millionaire. I'm going to have a million dollars in there. And I think I'm going to go get 50 more coins in XRP, actually. I'm going to get 50 more. We're doing that today. Uh, cause we see that the money that's dropped a little bit. So we like that. Um, I'm going to try and get it at a dollar 30. Let's look at that real quick. So people can, if they're wondering what we're going to do it at. Um, let's see here. Digga, 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 digga. Let me pull up my, uh, uphold app. So, um, XRP right here. Okay, it's it's down a um, dollar. It's at a dollar forty-one, and that's come down pretty precipitous. It's been pretty regular. So if you look at this, here's how I look at it. I start with the last hour. Okay, good lord. So in the last hour, it's done this. That's not good, which is good. <laughs> I mean, that's how this works. So do you see here? Here was the peak up here, and now it's going down to a valley. That's where you want to buy. So I'm probably, matter of fact, uh, let's see here. I'll just do it on the show. So I go to my bank account and XRP. I have 100. And I'm going to go for my main banking account. I go to my main banking account and I and I type in here. I'm going to type in here that I want 50. That's all I need. Because why? For me, the base to me, if it goes to 10,000, like it says, that's a million and a half. So by the time I pull the money out and everything like that, the idea is that that 500000 between whatever happens with taxes or this or that, because I've never pulled out that big of an amount. But when I pull out that amount, my idea in my head is that I'm going to keep a million dollars if it were to ever hit that. That's my own silly little thing. You don't got to do my silly thing. So I want to buy that. So it turns out right now for me to buy that is $71.41 all day. Okay, so here's what I do. I hit preview the deposit. I look at it. I'm getting ready to spend $71.21 to buy 50 XRP. Bam, I just did it. And so now I have 50 XRP. And so I spent, yeah, good. All right, cool. Um, so now I have 150 XRP. So here's what I'll do. Let's, let's note this down. We got 150 XRP total. But I bought 50 XRP at $1.41. Okay? 
Now, how do I want to do this? So that's actually my base. I want that to be my base. Shoot. Well, let me buy some more. <laughs> hey, it's $71. Who cares? Okay, here we go. I'm going to, I'm going to buy some more just to show you about the scrape. If there is a scrape to be had, you know, and I, I, may be, I could be wrong. Good news. <laughs> this is too funny. Uh, XRP just went up to 150. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. My apologies. That's what I bought in XRP. Okay. My apologies. Still at a dollar forty-one. I thought that was hilarious for a minute. Um, so we're gonna transact, and here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just go ahead and buy. Um, I'm gonna. So I slide that down. So here, I'll do it again and try to show you. It's very hard to do with the. So it shows the XRP right now. So I'm gonna say I want to transact. Okay. So then you transact and you take your XRP, and you slide it down there. And you got to put in, if you want it from another crypto or whatever, I'm going to do it from the bank. And so in here, I'm going to say, how much do I want? So I'm going to show you based on this model, and I'll be the guinea pig. And this is what this show is about. It's about me being the guinea pig. You can watch my successes or failures. I don't give a shit. At least I've got the balls to put it out there. Okay? So in this case, it's not the $0.98 cents per XRP. It's $1.41. So in this case, I'm going to spend... $141.56 to buy 100 XRP. I'm going to preview deposit. I'm going to come down. I'm going to confirm. Boom. I'm doing this right in front of you. So my base is 150. I'm not touching that. And so I am buying. I've just bought a hundred. I bought a hundred XRP at a dollar forty one. Now. If this thing just goes to $1.50, I'm going to scrape it. I will. And it's not about that I make a killing or this and that. If I make a killing, great. But let's just do an example here. Let's just say that XRP does another hit like it's been doing. And let's just say it goes to $1.51 times 100 coins. So that's $151 minus the 100 that I put in. Or no, I put in what? 141, right? And I bought 100. Yeah, okay. So let's just say I bought, uh, I got a hundred coins. Okay. And it goes to a dollar 51. Okay. That's 151 minus the 141 equals this. And I'm just doing this for an experiment. And I would, I would, I would leverage it better, but I'm just a tiny experiment. I still get $10. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I mean by like, you're not really losing out like big time, you know? And I mean, it's just, I don't know. But we'll do that as an experiment with that. So we do the station base, have that, and then whatever that base is, like in, in this case, XRP for me is 150 coins. Then I can put whatever money on top of that when it hits low and try and get it when it hits high. If it hits $1.61, $1.71 goes back to $1.91. Hey, I mean, you know, just that little example. And by the way, this is just $100, 100 140 bucks, man. Uh, uh, let's see here. The 100 coins times, let's say it goes back to that $1.91. Okay, minus the 141. Then for going in there and just messing around, it's 50 bucks. Who cares, right? It's, it's you know, it's not that it's anything to write home about, but I tell you what, try to get 50 bucks in your savings account right now. Try to leave your money in your account and get 50 bucks in your savings account. Yeah, it's not going to happen. All right, I think I've cryptoed you to death right now without, you know, doing it. Let's go to the chat room in case anybody else wants. These are the five. Oops. Yeah. yeah. Not a lot of viewers, but we won't check. Okay, how many views we got now? Uh, you're about double what you had before. Holy shoot, man. We're up to 30. That's nice. All right. So uh, that 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 covers those parts of this. I'm going to leave you guys with this, man. Um, again, our condolences go out uh, to Frankie's Bar and Grill. Um, we we're sorry to hear about Nancy. She's a lovely lady. Made killer Bloody Marys. Wonderful personality. Uh, they literally, when they bought the bar 30 years ago, she came with the bar. Um, so uh, definitely heartfelt with that. Um, we also lost another friend, um, finding out what happened with that. And, uh, I'll, I'll have more on that later, um, that I'm going to find out. Um, but Kaylin, I'm just, that's tough. Um, 
here's the thing to end with right now. When are you going to start? When are you going to start setting up your standards? And let's tell you what, cue that good music, man. Give me that hard music, and then we're going to do an outro, and we're going to say goodbye to everybody. But give me that good pumping music, man. Let's pump it up right now. If you want to see any part of these shows, uh, we chop up the physical part and the financial part, separate them from this big main part. That's on YouTube.com forward slash Pappy Sorellis. That works. That is where you can find the rebroadcast. So if you missed the live broadcast, you can watch it all here, and then you can scrub to any part that you want to see so you don't have to wait for me to talk about everything. So make sure you subscribe to YouTube. Give a heart. Subscribe to our YouTube. Go to our Twitch channel and go there. That way we can buy 20 yurts. No, just kidding. But we want you to hit subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's what we need you to do. When are you going to start? What standard in the spiritual? What are you going to, what is your standard? And remember what I said. Remember, remember, remember what I said. And let's look it up again. We are going to look up the spiritual definition. Okay. And this is the one I just want to read it verbatim of what it says, you know. But the spiritual part of this show is relating, relating to or affecting the human spirit or soul as opposed to material or physical things. There is way more to life than material things. There's way more to life than physical things. There is what we are doing to affect the human spirit in the spiritual aspect of life. That is what you're watching me try to show everybody. That's what I'm looking at. How can I affect the human spirit? How can I make life better? How many times can I say, yes, I'll help you move without thinking about it so that you know that there's somebody you can count on and have help from? How can I outkind you? How can I out help you? How can I be here for you? That is where my focus and energy is in the physical. The physical health. There's three things, spiritual, physical, financial, and the No Excuse Warrior podcast. It's a lifestyle. In the physical, it's about your weight. It's about what you're eating. It's about wanting to live long, to be with your kids and your nephews and your brothers and your sisters and your fathers. It's about you not wanting to be fat to where you can't zip line and you can't go to the stratosphere and come off the building slow. It's where you feel weird sitting behind. Listen, if you're a big overweight person like me, it's feeling bad when you got to go into a restaurant with friends and hope to God, hope to God that they sit at a table and not at a booth because you know how awkward it's going to be for you to sit in the booth. It's hoping that it's wishing that you looked better and closed sideways. That's the thing about big people. We hate the way we look sideways. Well, guess what you can do? You can start and activate your physical life. We are going to talk next week about the gastric sleeve journey that I may be on. And uh, I know that's going to be hard for some of you, but it's a reality for me because I am going through some health problems. Minute that I'm going to talk to you about next week, but they're starting to show and I got to do something about it. Um, inside the financial, we have put $12,500 and put trust into something that we believe we researched and said, okay, this thing's going to make, this cash is going to go to build this company here and do that. We're going to try and make that money work. We put another uh, $10,000 or so into, well, we split it up. 5000 for Wes, 5000 for me. We put another $10,000 in crypto, five for each of us. And now that crypto is approaching $8,000. So, and that's after we've scraped it two times. One time for $2,000, one time for $1,800. So we've had $3,800 in scrapings and it's currently up 2000 above the five. So that's two, that's three thousand. So five thousand dollars we've taken each from scraping the profits of crypto. But you got to make decisions in your spiritual, in your physical, in your financial life. That's what this show's about. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I hope you come back for more. We will get better every time. We'll have more graphics every time. We'll get to the point better every time. I mean, I'm just a talking fool, but I love the people. I love them all. I love you guys. And I love Wes VKCO who produced today's show. No Excuse Warrior Lifestyle Podcast. It's got to be a lifestyle. You got to make it fit. You got to hook and jab. Why are you starting tomorrow when we can start today? Join us here. Help us with the hashtag. Spread it out there. If you're doing something good for yourself, put hashtag No Excuse Warrior. Because it's not about me. It's about us. It's about a tribe. It's about a movement of people saying enough of bitching about everything. Enough of wanting people to feel sorry for themselves. We are going to take control of our lives and make them better. And together as a tribe, we're going to be greater together. 
Check it out. Be in tune. Help share. Put the hashtags on. Love the YouTube. This is Pappy Sorella saying see ya. Bye. Until next Wednesday. We're out of here. Thanks for watching another episode of No Excuse Warrior. It's time to unleash the new. Tune in every Wednesday and keep fighting, everybody.